Audio check. Audio check, one, two. What's up, guys? Audio check. What's up, Warfare? Good feeling this will be interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It will be, my friend. How about that music, though? You can hear me good. Very nice, very nice. Little Indian. Austin. Penny. El Bueno. What's up, man? You're watching every video about the demo? I don't blame you. Get going. Don't worry. It's working. Don't worry. There we go. And there we are, right there. Let's get to it. That wasn't the in-game music, but the in-game music is actually much better. Welcome everyone to Broken Arrow. We finally got our hands on the game. We have the early, early access of the demo here to show off to you guys. And the demo will be publicly available to all of you on Monday, February 6th. And it's going to run for a week. Uh, if the music's any indication, this demo is going to be good. Oh yeah. Excited to hear Compton Wargamer's opinion on Broken Arrow? Well, you're gonna see it in a bit. We're gonna see. This is my first time diving into this game. I kind of went through, like, the different types of units already. But I haven't played uh, since I've last played the uh, closed, like, beta or closed alpha back in the summer. But yeah. Yeah, what's up, Polo? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Hope you're doing good, too. We'll have to take a look at points balancing in the uh, arsenal. Look at all the units. Oh yeah, we're doing all that. We're gonna take our sweet time and go through every single unit and just enjoy. Have a good evening. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Let's just uh, crank up the music. Uh, where's the music? Right there. Put that up there, you know. It's gonna be good. Uh, let me just look at the stream. Okay. It all seems fine. I will be diving into this mode here. So that you guys have no lag. 60 frames? Alright, let's get to it. Hope you're all having a good, wonderful Saturday evening. I definitely am. I'm, I've been looking forward to this in a long time. I got it like yesterday. I got an email with access to this. But I didn't dive into it yet. I kind of wanted to make sure that everyone is able, you know, on a Saturday evening. Most of us nerds don't do anything on a Saturday evening, so we're going to be checking this out. Oh, we gaming. We gaming for sure. Uh, let me just make sure I'm on Discord. All right, there we go. You just want to see anything armored get vibe checked by Corn to Conquerors or anything missile anti-tank? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is a ton of fun. We already kind of dove into it with some buddies. Well, we're going to be diving into it again today. And we're just starting off with the A10 already. So this is... Yeah. Going to be sick. Look at this. Is everything looking good? Yep, 60 frames. All right. The game is still a demo, obviously, guys. So everything you do see 
in this live stream during this live stream is subject to change so just keep that in mind when you see content but really cool thing about this game compared to other rts games is the fact that you can customize a unit with like all of the varieties that you would see in real life for example in war game you just had 20 different types of one unit in this game, you'll just have one unit and you can modify it to whatever you want. <laughs> we went from Broken Arrow to discussing how bad Eugen is. No, no, Eugen, you know, it is, it's his own thing. All right, A10. Let me see here. So these are all the units we got. Let's just start with Recon here and just kind of go through whatever we can play with. It will be nice to just start the mission. Uh, can't see stats because of the face cam. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Let's move it to the top. Up, up, up. <clears throat> good point, good point. Or like bottom left, maybe? Or bottom right? Let's do that, yeah. Let's make it a little bit smaller as well. We'll increase it later. There we go. Alright, so... Yeah, as I was saying, the main thing about this game is the customizability of units. I think my face is now outside here. Should be on the bottom right. So, for example, if we start with something like... Uh, if you go into vehicles, we go to any of these, m the most of these vehicles can be customized. So let's say a JLTV, uh, this one can't, but if you go to an LAVAT, you can upgrade the armor. You can get a better armor package, which gives you, you know, a little bit more protection. You can change the weapons. These are all placeholder images here, by the way. Obviously, you don't just smack an Abrams on top of it. Uh, you can change the weaponry. To go from LAVAT, which has tow twos, the tow two A's. Uh, you can have more of them, basically. LAVATM. So what's the difference here, actually? I'm kind of wondering. They might not have added this, uh, these stats on this. Let's go to the Abrams here, for example. So we have the armor package here, giving us more protection against high explosive anti-tank weapons, whereas. Uh, Normally, you would have a little bit less protection. So on the sides, for example, you have more protection here. 325 against heat. Whereas normally, you would have 125 uh, millimeters protection, I would say. So th these are really cool things. I'm just kind of diving through this real quick before we dive into each and every unit. For example, the striker. You can upgrade its package. And also give it different weapons, such as a grenade launcher. Javelin even on top with the uh, 50 cal. A Mark 19 and a Javelin. Or you can put the Bushmaster on top. So instead of having what would be one, two, three, four, five different vehicles in the game, you just have one vehicle with five different modifications. So it really cleans up like the overall, you know, deck building or arsenal building thing. I wonder if the French or Brits are added when they are uh papa. If the French and Brits are added, will they still get the Milan? Or I'm just hoping on a distant dream. You're hoping for Britain and Germany. For now, the main idea is uh, Russia and America, but who knows if the game does really well, they might just add like China or something or Germany, UK. You know, those are pretty big nations to add. Uh, who knows? Like, who knows what they do? So let's start with Recon here. And just kind of go through all of the units and see what we got. So in the main menu here that you're looking whenever you look at a unit. All of the stats are nicely detailed on the right side. And there are some few important things. So first of all, you have the points that a unit costs. Then you have the protection, I believe in millimeters, against kinetic rounds and heat rounds. So this is a really cool thing. Because if you upgrade the armor it might not give you additional protection against kinetic rounds, but it increases your protection against heat rounds, especially when you go for uh, reactive armor uh, on like Abrams and stuff. Did they drop the demo? Uh, not yet. Monday, it'll be available to everyone. We just got a key to kind of show, show this game off to you guys during the weekend. As if this game would need it to keep afloat. Yeah, I think this game is going to do pretty well, but do keep an open mind, guys. This is a demo. The public demo is still a demo. Some content creators have already created videos about the demo and like flamed the game. It's a demo. We're just trying it out. Here's the force recon dudes. They look kind of chunky. And a really cool thing is with infantry, if this guy gets shot or gets neutralized, the entire squad actually loses anti-tank capabilities. 
which is pretty cool. Also, I am uh, not going to be able to see the notifications. Let's just do this. Pop up. Uh, yep, there we go. There we go. All right, now we're good. We don't need that many frames here anyways. Uh, why not? All right. So for example, we have just a regular Humvee. We can add the M2 Browning on top, a Mark 19, even a minigun. And that's just for one vehicle. Then you got the uh, this guy here, the Humvee LRAS 3. Has really good optics apparently, 1200 meters range on the optics. But you can give it better armor. The model changes as well. And if you look here, it also pr offers protection, more protection against kinetic, but also heat rounds there. But then you can also add the, you know, different weapons like the 50 cal or Mark 19. Really, really cool. I like those kind of changes. And we got the IFA VM2 here. M2 Browning. Once again, you can change the weapons, add a Mark 19 or a tow anti-tank. And so on, like you can adjust everything. There's also the Reaper. And these are Hellfires. And we can add more Hellfires. So we have eight Hellfires right now, which is pretty dang good. That's pretty cool. Uh, Bradley, for example, here. We can give it more armor. We can give it the Busk armor. And also give it uh, Hellfires. M3A3, Busk, Hellfire AT Gym. Uh, right now it says Toe 2. And also they have different types of ammunition, which is a big thing in this game. They have drones, yep. We got drones in this game. Graphics look amazing. The funny thing is, I have it on low right now. Because it's a demo, it's not really optimized. These are low to like medium graphics. But it already looks pretty good. Yeah, so besides like different protection against different types of ammunition, so 105mm against kinetic rounds, uh, 4 or 5 against heat rounds. Obviously, you also have different types of ammunition, which makes sense. So you have the AP APDS, but you also have these uh, high explosives, so heat rounds here. And they deal different types of damage, like they have a different dispersion. Uh, they have a blast radius, obviously, and the suppression power. Those are all listed here, which is pretty cool. What's the editor? Well... There's going to be modability in this game. There's going to be like scenario maker, scenario editor. Um, I don't want to go too much into the, the modding part of this game because we talked about it, but all of that is under NDA. Whatever I did say in previous videos, that is as far as I can talk about it. But there will be, you know, there will be a good amount of uh, customizability there. Oh yeah, how about this guy? This is an unmanned helicopter. And you can add... Uh, you can add Hellfires to it, but also Dagger rockets. Or you can just make it a full Hellfire helicopter. Wonder how the drones would work? Let's say Recon or uh, Sniping some T-72s off the map. Probably both. Probably both. Now what I want to quickly show you guys is... Nukes. Look at this. Look at this plane. Look at how massive this thing is. Look at the loadout. Tactical nuke. We got nukes in this game, guys. I don't know if you guys knew this, but we got nukes. Did you guys know we have nukes? We got nukes. Yeah. It's gonna be nukes. We got some big old nukes coming in. Nukes everywhere, man. Why is this game so big? I mean, I would say it's an average. <laughs> yeah, we got so many weapons in this. Look, you can have... Again, these are all placeholder images here. But you can have cruise missiles. There will be nukes. But this cruise missile can fire at 60 kilometers. Uh, you have JASMs, which are also different type of cruise missiles. You have JSOWs, which are bombs. They're all like in this uh, compartment here. Mark 84s. Look at how many you got. CPU 87s, you got snake eye bombs, so many, so many. 
There's High Mars, yeah. How about this? AC-130. We got a Spooky, guys. When was the last time you played with a Spooky in, in, a, in any game? Probably not Call of Duty, right? We got Spookies. Like AC-130 incoming, like that. You, you're gonna have a lot of that. We also have... Raptors. And again, fully customizable. You can add everything from AIM-120 air to air, down to GBU-53 Stormbreakers, j so glider bombs. Pretty much anything you can imagine. The F-35 is also in the game. And again, you can pretty much modify most of these things. Now, I do apologize if someone is like following on Twitch or giving a, a, a sub or something. I have it on performance mode because the camera is kind of lagging things out. So I might not pick up on it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. Because I don't know if the notifications actually work. They use the old RAM coding for the F-35. It does look a little bit like Terminator-like, right? It kind of looks... Kind of makes it look plastic. It does. I don't know, it looks cool. F-35B does look a little bit different, though. Yeah, that is a bit different. Do they have VTOL with these? I know IRL they do, but... I wonder if they have it in these... In this uh, game. Man, that looks so cool. So yeah, in terms of infantry, they also have a, quite a lot of uh, different types of infantry, really interesting ones as well. For example, you have the dragon-like fire support teams with two javelins here. Again, if these two get shot, the, the rest of the squad won't have any anti-tank capabilities anymore. So in Wargame, for example, if one of the 10 soldiers survive, this one soldier still has all of the weaponry that this squad has, right? But that won't be the case in this game. There's javelin teams, uh, stinger teams. We got two stinger units. There's regular light riflemen. And all the weaponry is listed over here, which is really cool. And those unit cards look really cool as well. Look at that. That's a javelin dragon team. And that stinger, yeah, this one looks cool. I got to download this one. Light riflemen. Marine Raiders, that just looks badass. They got even night vision and stuff. And then we got regular Marines. All the stats are also listed here for these guys. So we got, what is this? Armor, okay. Health, uh, amount of manpower, that's a speed, I would say. That's a range of optics, which is nice. Infantry has Binox with them. Uh, stealth is like a really specific value as well who has his night vision down One of, oh yeah this guy this guy's blind that guy right there he has his NVGs down wow you picked up on that Jesus make this guy moderator right now you're a mod alright we got marines mechanized riflemen it's really cool they also have like small teams and uh, weapon squads here. More javelins, M240s. Really, really cool things to play with. Strike rate gems. You can upgrade those with armor. They can push it to the side. <laughs> I guess so. Also, how about this? M60. So in the support. What about artillery? I was actually just getting into it. I don't know if they made it uh, like that. Hard to see. So we got Avengers in AA. But even this unit, completely customizable. You can add, instead of having a uh, M240 on the side, you can just add another missile pod. Just add another one. Armor package. Get an upgraded armor package. You have smoke dispensers now as well. Uh, shown with this icon here. There's Patriots. So the CRAM here, beautiful unit model as well. Look at it go. Is that a radiation sound in the back? 
That is that is a guy counter going crazy. Oh, this is a good track right there. Look at this. That was anticlimactic. Nah, it's, it's gonna be good. The big tube on the Humvee. You got the LAVAD, so this is the AA one. You can add more armor to it. M60 Paladin. You can change the weapon. We can add the Iron Thunder. Okay, okay. That's cool. So that is 155 millimeter. What do we got here? Jesus Christ, that gun size also. Look at that. What is that sound? Oh, it's from the in-game music. We got some uh, some mortar carriers here. That's the high Mars. Look at that. Also, you can upgrade it with armor. But you can also upgrade or change what kind of weaponry it wants to fire. So now we got the regular high Mars with HE. You can add these, giving you a different uh, type of rockets. Basically, it increases the blast radius, uh, but it does a little bit less damage. But you can have it fire and attack him's ballistic missile as well. That's pretty cool. What else do we got? Linebacker. You can give it the busk armor. Now it has a Bushmaster and stingers. It's pretty cool, man. The Mattis, that thing just looks, just looks angry. The thing just looks angry right there. Patriot Pack 2s. There's a long boy. And the cool thing is you can also modify how many missiles this thing has. So let's go with better armor. Uh, four missiles. Let's go with four. Why not? And add an M2 on top. Or a grenade launcher. Or an M240. Can be both. Patriot Pack 3. Add 12 missiles. Or do you want 16? Go with 16. Give it a little bit more armor. M240. Legion, what's up, man? Hope you're doing good. Or we can add the striker, which has a mortar. It's pretty dang cool. So helicopters. Of course, the Apache. positive just positive to the virus 19 oh no get well man get well soon you're making cinematics in this oh you should man send them to me so we can add rockets to the apache guided rockets hellfires more hellfires now we have 16 or you know you can go for a mix whatever you want to do what can you do with the nighthawk you can add Jesus. Okay, we just added big old machine guns to the side. Port pylons. What the hell is that? Dude. That's a big old... That's a leaf blower right there. Starboard pylon. Hellfires. That is sick, dude. That's cool. That is really cool. Here's the Super Stallion. Gal 17 minigun. Customization depth is so cool. It really is. It really is. You fun AF. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. What else have we got? Super Cobras? The Chupacabras? You can add Hydro Rockets, Hellfires, Sidewinders. Okay, okay. So we kind of already went through the uh, air tab a little bit here. Oh, we can zoom into it. Dude, look at that. Look how many bombs. Look at this. We're looking into the unit right now. There's two more compartments behind this. This is just one. There's two more. See, you see where I'm going with this? FA-18 right here. And you can customize again everything. Give it MRAMs, give it more MRAMs. More MRAMs. I want more MRAMs. 
and give me more end ramps. Look at all that. This guy probably has enough for the entire game. All right. So what else do we got here? Should we quickly go through the Russian ones? Let's go through the Russian units. What do we got here? We got some recon. BRDM2s. KPVT, Cord, AGS. Wait, let me do this real quick. Just make sure you guys can see everything. We're just going to keep the camera turned off so you guys can just see everything. How about that? There we go. Just want to make sure everyone sees everything. Just want to make sure. All right. So BRDM2. What is that? The cost module? Fam RAM? Pretty much. Spam RAM? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Armor package. Basically just some more sheet metal. ERDM3. ETR82. Okay, you can add more turrets to it. Or different turrets. Oh, what is that? Ford HMG. Armor package. That's pretty cool. So, as you can see here, having a cage like this gives you a lot of protection against heat. So I wonder if, like, um, RPGs and stuff will actually not one-shot this unit. I think that might be what's going on here. Oh, we got a recon drone. That's a small little boy with coordinates on it. Pretty funny. Or it can have it empty, so only recon. The Corsair. Conquers, attack us. Advanced uh, recon, yep, okay. Rush. The Orion. Vickers ATGMs. What is these? Okay, we got some bombs on it. Very good optics. Spetsnaz GRU. They look kind of... Those character unit models are really nice. EDV Resvetkas. What's up, El Bueno? Welcome back, man. Yeah, we're just quickly going through it. We're just going to take our time here and enjoy this game. Because we've waited a long time for this. Oh, these guys got PKPs. That's gonna hurt. More Skya Peotas. Underbarrel grenades. More Australia keys. Some cool uh, models there. Look at that. Some really nice unit cards. Pagna Machiki Brikis. Nikola Team Reservists. Very nice. Let's go to vehicles. BMD2. Start with this guy. Also amphibious. And what is this? Airdrop. You can airdrop these units. If you look at these icons here, this guy can be airdropped from a, from a big old transport plane or a transport helicopter. Isn't that cool? BMD4. You can upgrade the armor and everything. BMO1. Armor upgrade. Okay. The coronet. Go from the corner to the uh, Chrysanthema. Much better AT gems, obviously. It's so cool, man. The amount of modifications you can do. Really nice. EMP2. My beloved. EMP3 is actually one of my favorites. You can upgrade the turret to a 100mm. Actually, it upgrades the Arcan missiles on this thing. Or you can go for the Epoca. Hornets, the bullets. Man, this thing just has everything now. Look at it. You even get like... You even get a tree log, guys. Armor package, more air on it. Gives you a lot of extra protection, look at that. From 100 to 450 to uh, for heat. And 100 for kinetic. What else do we got here? You got your hands on this already? Yeah, we got some emails yesterday. And uh, we basically got a little bit of early access to it, just to show it to you guys. So I do appreciate that. Thank you, Slytherin. 
We've got a cord, conquers. You can upgrade that to coordinates. That's so much better than just having different types of units. It just saves them so much more time as well. Look at that cage armor. Just look at these stats here. So this is regular base armor. This is with the upgrade. So it doesn't just give protection on top because obviously it's on the sides. It doesn't give extra protection. It gives a little bit of extra protection on the rear as well. Is there a limit or embargo on what you're going to show? No, we can show everything now. We got BTR 80s. Again, everything can be upgraded. And how about this? T14 Armada. I bet this is the first time in a modern day RTS game that we get to play with this thing finally. Apart from uh, war game mods. There is no uh, T90s yet, but this is a really early version of this game. I wish Warner had that many units for real, dude. How's the optimization? You mean like a uh, gameplay, like FPS wise? It's not amazing right now, but this is a really early build as well. So we'll, uh, we'll see with that. Uh, do the upgrades add more smoke charges? Yeah, they do. Yeah, with some units, they uh, they add uh, smoke dispensers. Let's look at the gas tiger. Maybe that does it. Yeah, here. So if you look here, it adds some dispensers right there. Look at that. And if you look here on in this menu, these guys have a smoke dispenser. But that's pretty cool. The Gas Tiger is a nice vehicle. Looks nice. Yeah, we got a lot of fun vehicles to play with. The Sprut here, for example. You can get the upgraded version. Uh, T80BV. You can give it a 2017. Uh, well, you can upgrade it to the 2017 version. Or the 2018, so the BVM. Or the BVM OBR 2018 plus. Seems really, really powerful, doesn't it? 1190 millimeters of protection against heat on the uh, on the front, A25 on the side, even on top now. It's pretty cool. And also smoke and everything like that. 18, uh, 18 health. So how much damage do these things do? Six damage. So this guy would have to be hit three times by an ammo that does six damage after the armor stops being, you know, useful. But that's pretty cool. Truck. T-72B. BA giving you some invar right there. AT gems. Armor package. And you can upgrade the engine. Giving you 5 kilometers more speed. Per hour more speed. Let's look in the uh, artillery tab. So we got a Musta. Right there. A Nona. Again, all the armor can be upgraded. Main weapons can sometimes be upgraded, just like this guy. You can add a, a different... Uh... Oh, you can upgrade the reload time. Look at that. Going from 10 to 10, 8 to 10 seconds, down to 7 to 9. That's pretty good. The teal pan. Rock. Brads. Oregon. And you can upgrade this to 300 rockets, or 300 millimeter rockets, instead of 220s. What is this thing? HE, 300 millimeters, fast reload. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a big old dispersion. A reg. So basically this was like a naval, anti-naval artillery piece or something. From what uh, Jack told me. Pretty interesting unit. We got Osas, Pantsirs, S350s. The Tochka. That's a Burntino action. We got the OG <laughs> ZU23s. And we got the Shilka. And the Shilka you can upgrade now. So this is the non radar. You can give it radar, giving it uh, you know better accuracy and all that stuff. Or you can give it radar and also Iglas. But that's pretty dope. What do we got here? We're almost done. We're going to dive into the game and uh, go through the demo. KA-29 here. You can give it auto cannons. Uh, GSH-23 gun pods, S8 rockets, Kokon ATGMs, or attackers. 
Got the K50, K52 here. That thing is pretty. What can we give it? Vickers and Eglos. So you can't just give everything to this guy. That is so cool. MI26. Just supply MI28 here. And last but not least, we have an air tab. IL-20 or 76. This is to airdrop infantry. But also equipment, I think. But infantry for sure. MiG-31s. But we got a lot of everything. TU-95 bombers. And this one doesn't have any customizability yet, but I'm guessing this is probably going to be a, a you know, a nuke, a nuke dropper. All right, let's get to it. Message from the team. Shall we check this out first? Uh huh. Okay, that's a survey. 20, 20, 2200 points for a plane. Yeah, that that is definitely a that is definitely a nuker for sure. All right, let's go. Here we go, guys. Spreading decorations. Now, if you are enjoying the show, please do subscribe on the YouTubes if you haven't yet. If you're watching on Twitch, hit the follow button. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Oh, that's a cool intro. Gentlemen, we have just received the green light for the landing operation on Baltese Peninsula. The Russian Baltic fleet is currently resupplying in the harbor of Kaliningrad and will soon be ready to take the sea. Taking control of this peninsula would trap them in the lagoon rendering them basically non-operational in the region. Our troops are ready to storm the beach, but according to our latest satellite data, the mobile coastal artillery batteries defending the harbor. These guns must be silenced before we can launch the main assault, or this will turn into Omaha Beach 2.0. The guns have been spotted here. This is a battery of Barrick 152mm howitzers. They can detect and engage fast-moving targets above the water. That includes ships and helicopters. Local intel reports that a battery of surface-to-air missiles is present on the south bank of the lagoon. But the precise position of each launcher is unknown as they're relocated every day. That makes a missile or airstrike way too hazardous. Our best option is to send in a light force to eliminate the anti-air and artillery batteries by surprise and open the way for the main landing. They don't expect that kind of attack, so the ground forces in the area are limited. Commander, you will be in charge of the first wave while I organize the main landing. Prepare your troops, but remember, it's a one-time opportunity, so it's make or break. Make it happen, Commander. Good luck. Dude, that is a cool introduction right there. Yeah, finally some voice acting, dude, for real. My ships cannot approach as long as the coastal battery located in this fort is operational. The anti-air missiles are located on the other side of the canal. A Russian missile battery generally consists of six vehicles. Two of them have been located on the beach, but the others must be hiding in the nearby city. The reconnaissance group has made contact with the enemy and reports the presence of a tank company defending the area. I hope you brought some dedicated anti-tank units with you. If not, use smoke and buildings to your advantage. All right, all right. Now, before we go any further, uh, I'm just going to dive into settings here because I kind of had everything on low, just to, you know, just to make sure here. Now, let's just kick it up to high, see what, uh, see what happens. We might just... We might just completely crash the entire, the entire computer. Uh, da, da, da. Let's just see what happens, man. Yeah, we'll keep water, terrain quality. Oh, there's a potato uh, option for, for some people that might need it. Let's go with this. Okay, yeah, that, does that work? 
it seems to run just fine on my computer oh. yeah maybe a little bit maybe not let me uh crank this up so it runs a little bit better even it's a little bit laggy when i zoom in we might just have to adjust it a little bit more let's turn post-processing off Yeah, this should be okay. The reinforcements you have demanded are gathering. Yeah, that's much time. better. All Don't right. Don't forget to call them on the battlefield. What do I do? Let's call in some infantry. Uh, I have no idea how this is done. We have not played this game before, obviously, apart from uh, back in you know like the closed alpha. And a post processing seems to mess up in this game a little bit. Let's get some, uh, some dragon units. Alright. Got our LEV here. Nice. Yo, Puerto. Puerto, thank you for the follow, my friend. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, it tells you the range of the AT4 M38. That is nice. That's a nice way of showing that. Is there infantry in this? Okay, we got marines in that. We got some dragon teams. LAP 25s are chilling. Not quite sure what that's firing at. Oh, at the building. Okay, he missed us. Let's get into these buildings here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh god. Get back and cover, boys. Get in the building. Is there a button to enter it? Oh, we got them though. Move to the next one. Okay, we got into the building there. No line of sight. Gotta move next. Those effects look pretty good. There she goes. Okay. Let's go ahead and mortar our way forward. Let's see what we got here. We got fire position. But that's all HE, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's all HE. Oh, we're getting blasted. Yeah, we gotta get those guys out of here. Alright. Let's call in some more infantry here. Definitely could use some marines. We might just get him in off sprays if we can. No. Alright. Let's already this thing. Yeah, I mean, in general, the controls seem, uh, seem pretty good. Move into that building. Get you guys back here as well. Yeah, we're just gonna fall back with these trucks. All right, we got some additional units coming in. How's the responsiveness? Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, I'm still getting used to it. Like, I haven't played this game in almost a year. Oh, we got some more units coming in. Oh, look at that range, dude. Hell yeah. Dude, that looks cool. What's the unload key? Just you. Get in there, dudes. Smoke it. Oh, the infantry in the buildings, I think. Yeah, we're getting blasted by some infantry there. Also getting counter batteried. All right, what do we got for uh, support? That's a supply truck. Ooh, we got some force recon. AT4s.
Oh, we got wrecked. Yeah, we definitely need some more marines up in here. Oh, that's a tank. Gotta watch out for that one. Let's get in, get up on his flank here. Gotta take that guy out. Taking some casualties. That's a rough tank. Get these marines up here. The limiting shadow draw distance. Oh, that's just my effects. That's just my settings right now. Don't worry about it. Gotta fall back. Oh, he's gonna spot us. Oh no, get out. This is so cool, dude. Oh, that tank is... Tr oh wow, okay. AI seems to be really solid as well. Let's try to get in here. Yeah, you can definitely do some cool like uh, moves and stuff with this. I definitely want some more points. Get the marines in the building here. We gotta take out this AA. Let's keep mortaring it. We're gonna move the LAVs up. Yeah, guys, don't worry about the graphics. I have it on low and like medium or off even. I just want to have the best FPS possible for you guys. I will have a video with better graphics. And you'll be able to uh, make up your mind a little bit better that way. Ooh, I'm getting... I'm getting wrecked. Here we go. Ding. There she goes. Let's get the LAVs up here. What is the fog of war like? Uh, is it just the icons that don't show up until uh, units are in view? I think so, yeah. We only see them if we actually see them. Let's get out of range here. Oh, we're a little bit too close. A little bit too close. Get out of there. We 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 went a little bit too far on the right side. Man, I want an Osprey. Can we just get an Osprey without anything? No. Yeah, we got to push up on the left here. We're kind of getting wrecked right now, guys. Let's get a supply truck. Not quite sure if that's gonna work. Looks hard to get the health of units without clicking on it. I mean, it tells you like how much manpower is in there. And the overall blue bar is, I believe, the health. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be the health. These guys don't have any anti-tank weapons now. Which is a bit of a problem. Those guys got shot. Oh, that's not a good position to be in. Let's see if we can get the supply truck here. Icon pop-up seems to be random a little bit. I think, like, you need to definitely have a line of sight on stuff. It's on load. We almost got him. Again, guys, everything is a work in progress. I'm literally playing this for the first time. Unload some supplies there. I could use some javelin teams. The bars are a little bit little. I can work with that, yeah. I can uh, check out some of the settings here in a bit. Alright, let's move up.
Yeah, obviously we're not gonna do great here just yet. You know, it's the first time playing it. We're just trying to figure out what this game has in store for us here. Uh, let's go ahead and get more... Yeah, get some more Marines. Alright, I think we've cleared out quite a lot of these guys. AI looks better than I expected. Already impressed either way. Really? Okay, that's good to know. Very nice that you guys are already liking it. Get some mortars going. There was another tank in the back there. You're an RTS monster, you do well. <laughs> Don't you have more troops at lower part of the map? Uh, we do, yeah. We got these guys chilling. I don't want to move them up too fast yet. Let's just get one unit up here. Because there is a tank somewhere that might just snipe us. No, I'll be honest with you, I forgot about these guys. Thank you so much, you just saved this video. Sade, your true hero. I literally forgot about him. You know what? No, I didn't forget about him. That was a tactical decision, guys. That was a tactical decision to make him think we don't have more units. Alright. Played smart, not hard. Yep, that's a tank right there. Okay, these guys are almost replenished. So supplies also seem to replenish the manpower. That's good. Get some grenade action going. Big brain tactics. <laughs> what rounds do the mortars have? Uh, we are using mainly the HE. The other one is smoke. So I'm gonna actually smoke. How do I use the smoke? Oh, you just turn this off. That's easy. Cue some orders. Holding left shift. This guy, does he still have supplies? I think we might be out of supplies. We already dumped all of it. Are we firing smoke? No. We can't turn it off, it seems. Oh, now we can. Oh, wait, hold up. Uh, what's the smoke button? Is there a smoke button? Oh, look at this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I completely missed over this. So pressing T gives you the fire mission option. So we're going to fire smoke. Uh, short duration. Line. Let's do zigzag creeping. No, don't return to base. Where are you going, man? Let's get these guys. Okay, so that's how you do it. Let's push. That is very detailed. Yeah, I didn't even uh, figure that out. Let's get some marines to the right. Come on, dragon team. These guys are getting smacked, we gotta get out of there. Gotta get some uh, grenade launcher support back here. But stay out of line of sight from that guy. Alright, let's use these uh, smoke rounds. So, fire position, smoke. Right there. Fire position, smoke, right here. Let's see how that goes. There we go, we got some grenade launchers going. Nice! Yeah, this is PvE, but the AI is really, really good. They're like moving around and stuff. We might need more supplies here as well. That looks cool, man. They're all suppressed, look at that. The buildings have health, yep, the buildings are destructible. But you need some, you know, you need some heavy firepower to do that. Obviously.
I think you can return them and get a refund. True that, yeah, we could. Just back to base. Let's fall back with these guys. Get this truck back. I'm just overwhelmed by the game because it's... It's been such a long time since we played it. Right, we almost got there. Oh, we got some units coming up. Let's get back in the buildings. Ooh, that grenade launcher, man. This is so cool. Usama and Legion. Thank you guys for tuning in on Twitch as well. Appreciate it. Alright, we're gonna do a fire mission of HE. Let's see, what else do we have in the back here? These guys are going back, nice. That's almost taken care of. Uh, force Recon. Let's do it, let's get some Force Recon. There's the T-72 again. We're gonna smoke him off once again. I'm gonna do a uh, long mission and do a line. Let's see how that works. Okay, they're firing pretty quick. That's nice. Let's go creep up now. These guys could definitely use some uh, R&R. We're gonna fall back with them. Is everything looking good on stream? Otherwise, let me know, guys. Yeah, there we go. We refunded some units, got some money back. Click and drag. Let's try that, yeah. Yo, Abdul, thank you for following, man. Oh yeah, look at that dude! Alright. Hold up. Fire position, long, stagger. Fire position, smoke, long, stagger. Dude, Abdul, you're just saving us right now. You're saving the stream. Is that HE? It could be that it's not working yet. Yeah, I don't think that's working yet. Let's try that again. It might not be working yet. It might be, uh, you know, still a work in progress there. Let's see. Oh no, here we go. Okay. We just had to restart it, I think. And we're out of smoke. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, we're about to get in trouble here. Oh, Jesus. We definitely need some infantry with, like, long range... Oh god. Enemy tank eliminated. Let's go boys, get to work. That is a serious counterattack, indeed. Door kickers, let's go. Hopefully win that. Yeah, we need some supplies. Fall back with these guys. It's mainly infantry. Any unit camera? Is there an option? Oh yeah, there is. That's pretty cool. This game gives me World and Conflict vibes? Dude, definitely does. In the best ways you can imagine. Let's get the LEVs and the uh, AVPs moving up. Resupply these guys at the supplies. Also gonna fall back with these. Let the LEVs do some damage. Let's not move up too much. Don't want to be in RPG range. Remember, your infantry has a sprint button? It does, doesn't it? Slither and take my money. Dude, it's gonna be good. 
Once again, guys, I'm just literally playing this for the first time since like a year or so. So I do definitely forget some of these options. Let's unload some supplies. Does this guy not have any supplies left? Oof. We need some supplies, brother. This guy might be out of supplies. Yeah, he's out of supplies. Okay, go back to base. Can you show us some flying things? I can't spawn them in yet. I need some more... Uh, I need that possibility after taking out this AA. But let's go ahead and mortar this thing. We're taking our time. I'll definitely re uh, post a video of this. Where I actually play it again. And then you guys will have also a better, higher quality video for that. Let's go uh, sprint. Oh, look at him go. Go, buddy. Go, brother. That is a fast old dude. That's a fast boy right there. You can get more supplies by clicking the supply button multiple times. That might be true. That might be true. Where's my... Did we already run out of supplies? Man, okay, you need a ton of it. Okay, let's try that again. That's just waddle, good lord. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna move up through the town here. Yeah, you definitely need a ton of supplies. Not necessarily a bad thing. Your supply trucks are only filled with 100 kilograms? I guess so, yeah. 100 kilograms of pure meat. Get the mortars up there. Yeah, what's up, Warfare? Who's the man? Hope you're all doing a good... Hope you're all having a good Saturday. More Sky Peotas over there. Let's move up to the middle. We almost got this. Man heard there were crayons in the trucks. Yeah. Alright, let's try that again. We got a big old container this time. There we go. Now we're... Oh, Jesus. Now we're talking. There's crayons. Let's go. Alright, move up. Crayons. Jesus. Alright, you guys are good. Get our last guy up and running. Let's go. Now we're getting somewhere. Your Saturday has been vastly improved since the F-22s got the balloon. Oh, for real. Hoorah, let's go. I'm gonna go and clear those. Clear that S350. After that, we are good to go. Nice. Forty k supplies for him. Yeah, let's move these guys back and get them all supplied. We still have three tons. Okay, not bad. Can you group and uh, uh, number units? Probably. Let me see. Control one. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can just group them up, just like in War Game or War No or any major strategy game, I would say. Let's get some mortars going. You shot down the balloon? No, not yet. Balloon chilling. Balloon big chilling. I don't know whose house this is, but we're taking it over right now. Get the LAVs up here. Can infantry go prone? They just do automatically when they get shot at. Oh, they just did? Alright, okay. That missile launcher is gone. Good. Nice. Only took us, you know. Air assets are now available. Only took us like two hours to get done. 
Now cross the canal, destroy the guns, and take control of that fort. All right, we're gonna cross this. Establish a defensive perimeter. Enemy paratroopers are mobilizing as we speak. Nice. Let's get to it. I am so excited. Guys, if you do support or like the stream and you want to support the content like this, I'm going to turn on my face. Oh, why is it all the way down there? Here it is. If you do support the stream or you want to support even more, just follow the Twitch if you're on Twitch. Subscribe if you're on YouTube. That is all that needs needs to be done. Because I'm going to be no-lifing this game when it comes out. For sure. And also, if you do want to support even more, you can do so by becoming a patron for a dollar a month. Just a dollar. And you know what that dollar does? It fills this cup right here with caffeine. And you know what that caffeine does? It gives you content like this. Alright. You don't need to, though. Just, just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Now, I'm going to remove my face again. Because this game is much more interesting than that. Let's put it back in performance mode, baby. Alright, what do we got here? Nighthawk, helicopters. Bolt is shy. I am definitely shy. No, it's it's doing something weird. When I turn on my camera. Did we call in a heli? We did, right? Alright. When I turn on the camera, the, the stream lags a little bit for some reason. Folks to face, please do. I might like it. We got a night night attack, AV. Okay, we got a air here. What does the Harrier have? Hydro rockets. These guys are amphibies, anyways. We're just gonna cross it like. We're just gonna. We're just gonna big dick it. You haven't set the Twitch game correctly. Don't tell me it's on Warno. If it's on Warno, we're stopping the stream right now. No, it's on Broken Arrow. We're good. Broken armor. Oh my god. What the hell? Is there even a... <sighs> Such a noob streamer. Alright, we're good now. Demo out now? Nope, not yet. But it will be uh, available to all of you guys. Uh, on Monday. Yep, Monday. How do we load up these units into this heli? Okay, just like that. Yeah, we fixed it. We were playing broken armor. Dude, look at the graphics. Again, I have this on like low settings. Because of, uh, you know, performance issues during the stream and everything. I wonder how many... We can fit 19 more people in this. Let's get all the boys. All the boys going. Load up, boys. Yeah, it'll be available Monday. This thing did not land. No, it's landed. It's chilling. We might have to smoke this. Yeah, let's get a supply truck out. There we go. Now we did it right. What is the stream something? 520 uh, millimeter setting for VRAM? Yeah, I can't increase it for some reason. That's the max I can do. Maybe default helps, I don't know. I have no idea. Should we try it? Let's try it, let's see what it does now. Yeah, no, it's, it's still a little bit laggy. There's definitely some issues that... Uh, that are going on here with this. Alright. Let's get out of here. We're gonna go ahead and load these guys back up. Oh, they're not getting in there? How do I put them in the vehicle? Yo, Buff. Buff Puff. Thank you for the follow, my friend. I'm not sure I can put these guys in there. Yeah, six seats. Okay, yeah, they're a bit limited. How about the AAVP? Yep, they got the force recon in there. 21 seats. Get those guys in there instead. Let's do some recon with the LAV-25s. Yeah, there definitely isn't enough space in there. Who lost the key? Yeah. 
So I might have missed it, but if you lose infantry units, then ammo equipment is lost as well. Yep, it is lost. So if you have... Let's say if you lose uh, this guy here with the RPG, your entire squad loses that RPG. And you'll have to replenish the squad to get it. Which is a really good, cool thing. Alright, we're gonna smoke our way up here. We're just reloading. Do some recon with these. Uh, let's get some uh, Harriers. I don't know what happens when you call these in. We might just wait for it. Really interesting balance-wise. It definitely is, yeah. Let's just call it in here, see what happens. Oh, we're getting blasted right now. Let's go. Let's do a uh, smoke attack like this. Smoke order like this. Let's see if that works. Let's move up. Do you play Hearts Fire 4? Absolutely. Oh yeah, look at that, it works. I played the crap out of Hearts Fire 4. Really fun. Get some Vipers. Where's our plane? Here he is. Let's uh, do a little strike on this, see what happens there. Oh shit! Oh, our men actually survived. Yeah, they're fine. They're f <laughs> they're fine, guys. They're fine. We made it. We made it. Nothing wrong. We are all good. Nothing happens. Don't worry about it. One dude lives. He's absolutely fine. I don't want to hear anything. What even took him out? The artillery, I guess. He just one-tapped our dude. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch it with our helicopter. We're just gonna blast this place. Is that cluster? Are they firing? They're not firing. Screw it, just do a... Like that. Not sure why they're not attacking right now. He's good on ammo. Old fire. Yeah, Harrier's chilling. Let's see what that does. Bombing run. Bring democracy to these people? Oh my god. Drafing run, Bert. Yeah, we don't see them yet. We can bring democracy to them. We're gonna charge up there like crazy maniacs. Get this guy back to pick up the rest. F to Harrier. Yeah, Harrier's gone, man. We're gonna get another one soon. We're just uh, learning this control right now. Get in there, boys. make it up here yeah we can uh, maybe save the pilot but uh, where is he right now oh there he is you're fine you can swim okay they're not looking too good they're not looking too good right now are they hitting trees That might be what's going on. Oh, my guys are definitely panicking. The pile needs to be shark bait for now, yeah. He's gonna have to chill for the moment. Now take that 
establish a defensive perimeter. The enemy paratroopers have taken off. Surprise, motherfucker. Yo. My ships are on their way. Your orders are to hold your position. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. What is that? A scratch yet? Alright, did we get our pilot? Can this guy swim? These buildings overlooking the fort make your position indefensible if enemy troops take them. Hold this position as long as you can. Someone call for a cab? Yeah, let's load our dudes in, man. Then the SA, uh, SAR Halo. Let's see what else we can have. We haven't, like, uh, played around too much with these guys. That's a four man team. Let's get more Marines. Like that. Uh, should we get some Stinger teams? Oh, well, let's go with Dragons. Offspray? Why not? Yeah, it has an objective system. This is just one of the uh, campaign missions, by the way. Look at the map size, dude. Also, what I'm gonna do, guys, with when this game comes out, you know World in Conflict? I'm going to remake all the missions in this game. I'm going to create a... Oh my god, okay, we got paratroopers coming in. This is it. The enemy paratroopers are here. I'm gonna remake all the World in Conflict uh, games. Okay, that's a couple more than I was hoping for. Rhino ready. Turn it hot. That's a couple more. Hey, finally plane second hit. <clears throat> I'm saying? Oh, he's gone. Oh, we got some big lag. Don't you die, dude. Don't do it. Just land, brother. Oh, we got some big old lag. Please. Oh, that froze. We're having some technical difficulties. I, got hit. Plane's still operational. I can't click anything right now. Super Hornet copies. We're going down. Okay, the plane was messing things up. Really? All right, that's good to know. We uh, we solved that issue, I guess. Yeah, plane was really lagging the game. That is that is weird. All right, we gotta set up a defensive position here. Yeah, a little bit of bug, but it's fine. We're just uh, you know, they're still. This is literally an early, early demo. Uh, we can't really move them up with that. Let's get our marines from here. Back over there. Super Stallion is just going crazy right now. Those effects look pretty cool, man. Ooh, that's some AA right there. Scratch it. Let's get some Osprey. Uh, let's get the Osprey back to base. Actually, let's move him back here. Get in there, dudes. Come on. Is it too full? I guess so, yep. Alright, let's load you up in this. Oh, shit. Jesus, Monka Christ. Sprint. Holy. That is not going well right now. Can you select what entrenchment to build? I'm not quite sure right now, actually. We need to hold this and take over this position. Uh, let me see here. Let's get a squad of... Yeah, why not? Force Recon.
And the BMD is just tough not to crack right there. We definitely need these reinforcements. We just gotta hold for a little bit longer. Let's use a plane again. Now we're gonna directly attack something. Land them, boys. Land them. Oh, we got some issues. You coming over, Harrier? Harrier does not copy right now. Brother, go home. You're drunk. Got artillery incoming. I'm trying, dude. Things aren't working right now. There goes another pilot. Some of the controls are really not doing anything. Let's push up that hill. Especially planes, they don't seem to really work. But that's fine. Pleased to see the helis are endangered species. Oh, for sure, dude. I could definitely use some stinger teams, though. Getting smacked by that helicopter. AA is effective. Yep. Oh. Why do they have man pads there, bro? Oh my god, dude. We just failed the mission, man. Damn, we got defeat. Alright, we're gonna redo that one. Now we kinda know the controls. We're gonna do much better. The planes, the plane controls are a bit rough. They don't like wanna do what you want them to do, so you gotta actually like... Can we not do this? Might have to quit the game real quick. Yeah, the plane controls seem to be a little bit on the rough side. But other than that, like, infantry seems to work just fine. Yeah, we're gonna have to force quit. Infantry seems to work just fine. Uh, yeah, automatic uh, countermeasures, that's also a thing. We might have to dive into the settings. Let's go back here. All right, restart. Let me open the window, it's getting hot. Getting real work right now. There we go. All right, we back. Let's try it. Let's look into the settings. Yeah, post-processing, definitely, that seems to uh, not help you out. Uh, we're gonna go Ultra, but then turn post-processing off. Volumetric Fog. Yeah, that's fine. Light Source Count. Let's go with this, see what that does. Uh, FPS, I can turn this on. That might show it. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's dive into the demo mission again. So for the ones that have kind of missed it, we're playing the Broken Arrow demo a little bit earlier. You'll be having access to this tomorrow, no, Monday. You'll have access to it Monday. But uh, we got an email from uh, Slytherin, really wonderful people, and we're going to be diving into it a, a little bit earlier, just to show it off to all of you. Once again, Buff Puff, thank you for the follow, and uh, you guys for... The, the teenaged gaming enthusiast for the sub and also for the donation. Very, very kind. Gentlemen, we have just received the green light for the landing operation on Baltese Peninsula. Oh, yeah. 
The Russian Baltic fleet is currently resupplying in the harbor of Kaliningrad and will soon be ready to take the sea. Taking control of this peninsula would trap them in the lagoon, rendering them basically non-operational in the region. Our troops are ready to storm the beach, but according to our latest satellite data, the mobile coastal artillery battery is defending the harbor. These guns must be silenced before we can launch the main Yo. assault, or this will turn into Omaha Beach. Mr. Toyota. Puerto, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, current frames, uh, 40, but it's a cutscene. Thanks so much, Puerto. Fast-moving targets above the water. That includes ships and helicopters. Local intel reports that a battery of surface-to-air missiles is present on the south bank of the lagoon. But the precise position of each launcher is unknown as they're relocated every day. That makes a missile or airstrike way too hazardous. Our best option is to send in a light force to eliminate the anti-air and artillery batteries by surprise. Hell yeah. Open the way for the main landing. They yeah, we're gonna do much better this time. Attack, so the ground forces in the area are limited. Commander, you will be in charge of the first wave while I organize the main landing. Prepare your troops, but remember, it's a one-time opportunity, so it's make or break. Yeah, damn right. Happen, Commander. Good luck. All right. I was just waiting for the cutscenes, guys. I do see all of your messages. Yeah, I'm gonna group up Dragon and Marine My teams together. That's a good one. As long as the coastal battery uh, the demo that was a month is out on is Monday operation. for everyone. We just got a little bit of earlier access. The anti-air missiles are located on the other side of the canal. A Russian missile battery generally consists of six vehicles. Two of them have been located on the beach, but the others must be hiding in the nearby city. Okay, okay. The reconnaissance group has made contact with the enemy and reports the presence of a tank company defending the area. I hope you brought some dedicated anti-tank units with you. If not, use smoke and buildings to your advantage. All right, now we have some experience. Now we're going to do much, much better. Don't worry about this. I am reading all the messages, guys. Sometimes I'm like waiting for the cutscenes or whatever to finish, you know. Don't worry about it. I see, I see you. I see you. All right. Let's go, boys. Let's go unload these guys back there. We're gonna get some marines to the right side. Oh, we're spreading out this time. Good experience for the future. Absolutely, yeah. The first, literally the first match that we're playing. The the demo did not have this kind of uh, this uh, this this mission or anything. This and Homeworld three are going to be at the top of your wish list, dude. Homeworld three is going to be amazing. That's our force recon, right? Yeah, we'll put them at one. So the frames I'm getting is right now, uh, thirty six. But let me just see if V sync is off. Yeah, it is off. I'm getting about thirty six to forty frames right now. Which isn't amazing, but, you know, I'm also live streaming, so that could affect it a little bit. Get those guys in there. Yeah, I want to get, like, a Dragoon team. Just like you guys said, together with the Marines. Sprint into that. Oh, we got that, we got that. These are Force Recon. We're going to keep them on the front line. Uh, we're going to get some more Marines. And definitely another Dragoon unit as soon as we can. Put one Dragoon with the Force Recon. Yeah, okay, I'll get one more and then group them up with that. Oh, this guy's not having a good time. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and smoke our way up here. Smoke. Let's smoke this entire thing. Get these guys back. I might immediately get some supplies out. Just 4,000. That should work. What are your specs? Uh, i9, 9900K. 1080 Ti, 64 gigs RAM. In uh, in my videos, not this live stream, but in my videos, I have a link in description. That uh, tells you all about my computer specs. That might help. Alright, let's, let's move our guys up. Alright. Got some more Marines. We're gonna send these guys... Over here. And these guys up here. That T-32B1 could be an issue. We're gonna go for another uh, Dragoon unit. Or Dragon unit, whatever you want to call it. Just stop your dragons. 
Killing the tank. Yeah, I wanted to move up into a little bit of a better position here. Let's move our AVPs up. This tank is going to peek out just in a second. Alright. Yeah, the game will definitely be more optimized later. Like, this is literally not even the demo that you guys will have access to. It's a really, really early build of the game. And it's only going to get better. Oh, here we go. Hell yeah. It did a good amount of damage. Here we go. We got some Marines here. Nice. See, that went much cleaner. We cleaned that up real nice. Sprint, boy. Sprint. Ooh, that BRDM2 could be an issue right there. Nah, the Marines got that. I do really like the range on units. Let's get some Force Recon on the right side. Get the Marines up here as well. Uh, get a Dragoon unit up. I don't want to walk them though. We're going to wait for some of these trucks. Alright, let's go and arty this uh, S350. Start taking them out. Game looks amazing. Reminds me of World in Conflict. Everyone says that and it, it's it's wonderful to see people making that comparison. Marine squad move between connected buildings. Yeah, for now that is possible. I don't know how what they're going to do about that later. They might put like a timer down uh, before you can move up to the next building. Just like uh, Warno, uh, War Game did later. Because, you know, it can be a little bit overpowered. But for now you can do that indeed. Alright, let's get some of these guys up to the front. Here we go. Need to send the trucks back. Yeah, I could sell them, but I kind of want to use some of these. I'll sell this guy. Get some grenade launchers going, know what I'm saying? Oh, that AAVP is not having a good time. Gotta move to the next building right here. Uh, oh, I can get him in a Super Stallion. Let's wait up with these. We got we got plenty of guys. Let's look at the minimap real quick. MTVR. Sell that. Sell this. Get some mortars raining. Yeah, we're sell we're going back with the MTVRs right now. Oh, these guys are not having a good time. Sprint. Okay, they're still good on ammunition with that. Let's move up. Moving in between buildings would create some interesting infantry CQB situations. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, digging in or fortifying would actually be really interesting too. That could be really fun. Alright, we're gonna move up. Here we go, contact. Oh, that's a lot of units right there. We might have to smoke this. Yeah, we're gonna smoke that up. Let's get the uh, Dragoons up here. These guys are not having the best time right now. We're gonna hold them back. Oh. Didn't think they would move up like that. This game is looking good right now. I'm gonna play this demo like all weekend, I don't care. And just try some new things every time. Uh, this guy's empty, go home. We gotta get these guys resupplied. Let's get our supply truck up here. We're getting a little bit hammered. That is that is fine. We lost that truck. Those marines need some uh, MGS cardboards. Cardboards. Art boxes. Well, wow, I couldn't English there. Got some small teams here for those tanks later on. Let's do a big old flank. 
Oh, we could try to get into the same building. Let's go. Nice. Here we go. Mortars are doing nice. Move the small teams up. Fall back with those. Here we go. Yeah, we're getting much better already. Love the voice acting. Yeah, voice acting is sick. You can use the small units for anti-infantry, especially in buildings. And obviously anti-tank work. Yep, yep. They got HE on those two. That's why I'm moving them really close to the front right now. We got a lot of infantry entrenched in there. Yeah, let's use the uh, grenade launcher on this. So right now I'm getting about, yeah, 33 frames, 35 frames. We're evolving. We definitely are, man. We're getting much, much better. I want to not have these guys lost, though. Gotta be a bit careful. Oh, that tank's gonna clap our LAV-25. These guys are almost back on HP. Let's fall back with these Marines. Get the AVP over there. Alright, they're good. Move them up. Yeah, we're gonna fall back with a couple. Can we reload these supplies? That's what I'm wondering. Oh yeah, we can! Oh, cool! I'm such a happy boy right now. Uh, let's get some more dragon teams. Nice, we took out another missile launcher. Ooh. Oh, we missed that one. That, that looked kind of cool, too. Man, the shock. Look at this building. It's almost getting trashed. There is building destruction, by the way, guys. Plus one intellect. Yeah. The one thing I noticed is lacking is no infantry... Uh, lacking is no infantry grenades. Oh, there's on the barrel grenades. I keep calling in two transports. Let me see here. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's my bad. That's my bad. Thank you for noticing. Oh, those transports are not having a good time. Yep. Let's get our dudes fixed up. Yeah, we definitely need to just get all of our mortars out. They're a little bit powerful. Okay, this guy is out of supplies. Fall back with those. Gonna get a... Yeah, we'll, we'll get one with 4k. I just want to get my infantry back on HP. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Beautiful. Nice. Gonna group these guys up. Let's get some HE going on this. Try some planes. Oh, we don't have them yet. We need to destroy the uh, AA in this sector. Yeah, we might get into trouble here with supplies. Let's try to pop it down like right there. Actually, let's go right here. Let's, let's go a little bit riskier. Alright, we're gonna mortar the crap out of this. Move up on this flank. Anything in the back that we're not using? These guys right here? Yeah, to select the transport first and then the infantry. Yeah, that is definitely very, very useful. Such as this guy here then go for everything else. But we can't call in some of the units uh, because we haven't destroyed the AA here. After that, we will be able to. Right. These guys are on OK HP, but let's fall back with them. What support options do you have? Cruise missiles already? For now, we only have mortars. Try to smoke with your infantry. Let's try that, yeah. So, X is smoke. 
Okay, they drop smoke where they are. You can't really target something specifically. Alright, these guys are... They're fine, move up. They're fine. Oh, we're getting in trouble over here. Big boy attacks. Sprint those guys forward. Well, uh, I was just wondering from now, how far could you get hit from AA in this plane? It's quite far. AA is really powerful. AA is really, really powerful. Oh, we lost the squad right there. Oh, no. We got caught out in the open there. That ain't cool. We need some Dragoon units, man. I gotta smoke this. It's getting out of hand. That's getting out of hand big time. You can't wait to see the nukes? Dude, same. Nukes are gonna be so sick. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. The small teams aren't. Get some more marines. We're out of supplies, but we're gonna have to move up. Out of range. Let's get this guy back. We need some more supplies up here. Can we also carry infantry with these? Yes, we can. We can do everything we want. You forgot to use uh, your tanks as smoke launchers for retreats? Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, like uh, the transports and stuff. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, get used with the hotkeys. I might change these up a little bit. Because this is reverse. I might put that to G. Just to uh, make it the same as uh, as War Game and Warno. And back to base, I might make that V for a retreat. Just to put it all in the same thing. Can you redeploy the supply trucks? Yeah, yeah, we can redeploy. You can just make them fall back to base. And then uh, make them come up to the front line again. It's going to be a little bit danger close here. We're going to be... We're going to play a little bit risky. Alright, we almost got this. Drop it. That's the Marines. Let's drop the supplies here. There we go. Fall back with this truck. Hope he doesn't get sniped. Dude, the voice acting is so cool. Hope you're all enjoying the show, guys. This is the first time me playing this, so I'm a little bit of a noob, literally. So, you know, it might look a little bit rough here, but we're getting there. These guys all healed up. There we go. Get them all healed up. What else do we have in the back here? Mortars. Number one, number two. Thanks for streaming. You're welcome, man. Uh, yeah, you are? You guys are enjoying it? Nice. That's what matters. Yeah, let's get some Dragoon units. Oh, actually, also some Stinger dudes. Uh, I might call those in... Yeah, we might call those in later. We're gonna have to push up first. But then again, having some stingers might actually save our butt. Roger, yeah, let's call in some stingers. Alright, let's clear this up. I'm gonna clear that up. These guys are all resupplied. I think they're all good. Yeah, they're all fine. May I ask to try the potato settings if possible? I want to see what it looks like <laughs> for your plebeian setup. Sure, yeah, we'll do that in a second. The potato settings. Call in helos with multiple units. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We just gotta take out this AA piece. Smoke and infantry and tanks are meant to retreats or doing pushes. It's mainly retreats, yeah. So if you press X, it's... It smokes around them. So definitely good for retreats. 
I'm gonna make a video that details all of these things. It's gonna be a good long ass video too. Alright. I'm gonna keep my man pets back here. Oh yeah. That was the last missile launcher. Air assets are now available. You can call in helicopters and planes for nice. the reinforcement panel. Now we got helicopters and planes. Cross the canal, destroy the guns, and take control of that fort. Once it's done, establish a defensive perimeter. Enemy paratroopers are mobilizing as we speak. Alright, we gotta smoke this smoke this off. Let's first of all get our units back on uh, back on health and supplies. Uh, da -da -da. let's just move these guys here. How much supplies do we have? Two and a half tons? Okay. That should be enough to uh, get up on smoke. So what we're gonna do is basically charge across here. So the AVP has 21 seats. We're gonna get the marines in there. The small teams can come up later. I think the game would, could unfortunately kill Warno. I don't wish it, but it might happen. Honestly... This is just a taste of what this game has, and I'm already very satisfied. It's going to be sick. It's giving me World in Conflict vibes. Look at the map size. And you can make scenarios and, you know, do modding. I'm going to remake the World in Conflict campaign in this game. Uh, you know, just because you have, like, a port where one of the missions are. You have, like, a, you know, like a fuel depot here that you can do missions at. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be real good. You can pick up supplies. Yeah, I just uh, sold the... Uh, the the truck. <laughs> we went back with the truck. I'll just get another one real quick. Let's get uh, 10k. That should do it. We'll get a Super Stallion. We'll just call in the Super Stallion. And then transport our dudes with it later. Zoom in on AVP when you embark. Oh, that's actually a good point. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think that's probably properly animated yet, but let's see. They probably just stand around it and then get sucked in. Oh wait, it's full. Let's unload it. See what happens. Yeah, see, they just come out. Oh no, they, they kind of, you know, there's some animations going on, but... Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely get fleshed out. I think Warner will have a hard time retaining a player base or anything, but... But big Eugen RTS enthusiast wants it, so... I think, yeah, we'll see what Eugen does with the game, but uh, it needs to definitely pick up development a little bit. But we'll see what they do. I just want every RTS game that comes out this year to succeed. And if you guys don't know about, like, many of the RTS games, I have an RTS uh, news playlist. With, like, 10 videos of upcoming RTS games, like Homeworld, uh, Homeworld 3, and uh, games like uh, Tempest Rising, like, all really good games that are coming out. So we're gonna just have a ton to play with. And on this channel, we'll just have everything. How many Humvees can you load up with the Stallion? That's what I'm wondering, actually. Can we put this guy in the helicopter? Let's try. With Stingers in there. That could be a pricey... Pricey thing if we lose, though. RTS Hopium is in good demand. Absolutely. Not sure if he can put it in. Doesn't look like it. Not yet, at least. I know that you can put transports in there. Alright, we are good to go. Let's smoke it. Uh, what should we smoke? Definitely want to just smoke this entire thing. And then like this. And just hope, just hope it's enough. Let's go. I want to transport. I'm gonna call both of these in. Yeah, room for both games, definitely. Competition is really good. Absolutely. Like picking up Humvees with a Stallion. Let's actually... Wait, we got the units in there now. Oh, it worked. We got, we got the Humvee in there? I can't see it in there. But I think we got it in there. Can I put another one in there? Hold up. Unload. If these guys just roll out in a Humvee. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Alright, we can move our LAVs up then. In that case. And whatever else we have. 
The smoke doesn't seem to really work. Yeah, we have smoke selected. They're not doing it. Yeah, still need some work. Absolutely. It, it, there's there's going to be a lot of optimizations that need to be done still. Like, for example, we can't seem to get a smoke mission going. Maybe we were too close to a building. Maybe that's it. And it needed a better line of sight. If that is the case, then I'm a big fan already. Let's try it. They shouldn't have any issues now when it comes to line of sight. Yep, that's it. So line of sight. With this guy. He's not firing. Let's see if he can do it from here. Will he fire now? Yes, sir. Okay. Alright. We've almost made it across. We got our AAVPs here. We're gonna load these guys back in. We don't even need the Humvees. Let's just get the Stinger teams in there. And get these guys back up there. Sell the Humvees. Uh, we can put these guys in there. All right, they've made it across. These are small teams. Let's just put get in position there to get it with the Marines. Slowly creep them up here. It might be a range issue. Yeah, I think there's like line of sights and range issues that we need to definitely work about. Get those guys in there. Alright. Force recon. This guy still has some space. Get the AVP back real quick. So we got a couple seats left here. Get those guys in. Yeah, that's full. Let's go. Alright, let's uh, do another smoke attack, or mission. Long barrage. This guy didn't fire. Yeah, sometimes they don't seem to fire real quick. It's not a range issue. Yeah, that, that works. How about this? There we go. Okay, that works. Alright, let's just let's just YOLO this. Let's go. Longest duration option is better. Oh, that could be it, yeah. Maybe that's it. That would explain that. Damn, you should be taking over the stream right now. Alright, buddy. You gonna move up or what? I can't select this guy. We might have just bugged this helicopter out. I think we did. Helicopter is dead. Oh yep, helicopter is gone. <laughs> helicopter is gone, my guys. Alright, let's move up here. We got our units coming up. I think we tried a little bit too much with the helicopter there. What do you guys think? Scout snipers, force recon. Yeah, I need I need stinger teams. Here we go. Execute order 66 on the heli, yep. Okay, here we go. Who would have thought that Broken Arrow was going to become World in Conflict 2? Dude, for real. Oh, we are getting trashed by that artillery. That is powerful as hell, dude. I hope these guys actually manage to get on the ground. Otherwise, we're in big trouble. 
Bypass the fort, insert infantry to high rise north. I might do that if there is no uh, infantry or AA. Let's try it. We gotta already these guys. Alright, let's get the Osprey back. Oops. Yeah, those, those artillery pieces just smacked our units. Not even kidding. Gonna keep the stingers in the back here. We walked into the wrong neighborhood right there, yup. Let's try it. Let's, let's just try to unload these guys right there. Let's see what happens. We will try the plane, but I am kind of not experienced with this. Like here we have it. A uh, strafing run. Wait, hold up. Oh shit, dude. Let's see if that works. If that does, if that does, this game is definitely winning on every front you can imagine. Oh, it might just die before it actually gets gets a chance. But you know that seems to be possible. All right, let's go, boys. Here it comes. Go home, brother. Go home. You've done your job. That is sick. Oh, we did get hit there. Yeah, just fly away. Just fly away. Alright, we're coming over. We coming. I want to get up here into these buildings. These buildings overlooking the fort make your position indefensible if enemy troops take them. Hold Get some dragon teams. As long as you can. Yeah, we gotta set up perimeters right here. Get si resupplied real quick. And this Osprey back. Do we have anything back here? We have a supply. All right, now we're getting we're we're getting the hang of this. All back with that. You could pick a heli to pick up those supplies and move them over. Yeah, I might just pick up the entire truck. And just <laughs> see if that works. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pick up the truck. Let's uh, use these guys to pick up the mortars. Actually, the mortars are probably fine. Can we put this in there? Here we go. Oh, manpads are opening up. This is how you make a game, dude. This is how you make a game, right here. Look at that. Look at this. Paratroopers! AA that actually hits. Planes that disappear like that. It's just amazing. Get in there. Get that BMD too. Oh, we got a lot of infantry coming up there though. That could be a problem. Oh, my helicopters. Oh shit. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how good AA is against helicopters when they get fired at. See, the missile is still accurate. Like, it doesn't matter what the infantry is thinking. The missile is still gonna hit. That is something I'm already liking. Did we get the supply? Yeah, let's just unload this. Okay, yeah, AA is really powerful. That's good. Let's get more marines over. I'm gonna sell this Osprey. Try to pick up these supplies right here. Get these guys in the edges. Did we just fire at Heli? Oh yeah, there's an MI-8 back there. I don't zoom in enough, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, we need to use the countermeasures manually, of course, yeah. Let's play, press C. Keep popping those. Don't know if they have any AA, but we're just gonna do it. Pop those flares, baby. Unload right there. 
Did we pick up the supplies? Yes, we did. I'm gonna try to dump it right there. Alright, let's go ahead and get some more, uh... Get some more units. Fall back with the Osprey. Yeah, we definitely need some uh, anti-tank anti units here. What are they firing at? Gonna fire at that forest. There might be some buttons that make it automatically. But who knows? Who knows? I'm not sure if they're if they're gonna do that. We'll see. The high risers are falling into the hands of the enemy. You're gonna have a bad time if you don't retake them fast. Yeah, I'll I'll try it, man. They just ruined our units right there. Try to get some guys back there. Left side is doing pretty good. Gotta fall back a little bit here. Ooh, Osprey is just smacking right now. Let's go, Osprey. Oh, we gotta fall back with this guy. He's on low it, low health. Pop flares, get out of there, brother. Yeah, we could get some supplies, but we need a helicopter to carry the supplies. Also, we're running out of units. Alright, hurry up, my, my brother. Oh, this could be problems. I don't want to lose again. Not like this. Okay, we got plenty of dudes in that. Are mortars firing? Okay, mortars are firing. I'm sorry guys, I'm not reading chat right now. Gamer time. Oh! That's not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't worry about it. Go, 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 go up there. Mortars. Oh, we're gonna lose it, dude. We need that back right now. Dude, this isn't not. This is definitely not easy. I'm trying, my brother. Don't tell me we're gonna lose again. Come on, run up there. Sprint. Sprint! Get your feet in there. Dude, there's so much infantry in there. We need L. We need L. What does this do? Is that grenades? Oh, come on. Don't tell me we lost. Is the game crash? Right. I think just froze. Not like this. Game said no. Alright, third time's a charm. Yeah, I broke the game. Dude, how much infantry do you need? This is a tough mission already and it's only a demo. Like, oh my god. Yeah, it crashed. Alright, we're gonna redo that third time's a charm. Damn it. Gosh darn it.
Oh, you guys are going to have to deal with it, but we're, oh. we're going to put our face back here. Yeah, the game froze. That's okay. That's okay. It's all, it's all good. Listen, it's fine. Okay? It's all good. It's a tactical freeze to give us time to recuperate. Patreon team right there. Patreon T. Did you hit pause? I don't think I did. Is there even a pause button? Uh, Doesn't seem to be. No, not really. You need a lot more units in this point? Yeah. I think this is one of the fairly hard missions in the campaign, not an early one. New people to this type of game are gonna have a hard time. Absolutely, dude. Are you gonna go sleep? See you later, Rykton. We're gonna dive back into it. Now, for the... You know, this is also fine. For the people that are tuning in just now... We get to play the same mission five, 15 times. So... <laughs> this, this is it, though. We're gonna win this time. Don't worry. We got this. We got this. Also, guys, if you like the content, you want to support the channel, consider becoming a patron. This helps with a cup of coffee a day. A month, even. T34, once again, thank you for the donation. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta definitely preserve our units. 100%. The Russian Baltic fleet is currently resupplying in the harbor of Kaliningrad, and will soon be ready to take the sea. Taking control of this peninsula would trap them in the lagoon, rendering them basically non-operational in the region. Our troops are ready to storm the beach, but according to our latest satellite data, the mobile coastal artillery battery is defending the harbor. These guns must be silenced before we can launch the main assault, or this will turn into Omaha Beach 2.0. The guns have been spotted here. This is a battery of Barrick 152mm howitzers. They can detect and engage fast-moving targets above the water. That includes ships and helicopters. Local intel reports that a battery of surface-to-air missiles is present on the south bank of the lagoon. But the precise position of each launcher is unknown as they're relocated every day. That makes a missile or airstrike way too hazardous. Our best option is to send in a light force to eliminate the anti-air and artillery batteries by surprise and open the way for the main landing. They don't expect that kind of attack, so the ground forces in the area are limited. Commander, you will be in charge of the first wave while I organize the main landing. Prepare your troops, but remember, it's a one-time opportunity, so it's make or break. Make it happen, Commander. Good All right, luck. we got this, we got this. Pop dragons in with force recon before we move the regular marines. Yeah, we're gonna try that out. My ships cannot approach as long as the coastal battery located in this fort is operational. Yeah, we got this. We the gotta go destroy the star. On the other side of the yep. Gotta destroy the AA here. We got this. Force recon together with dragoons. Cleared out. Marines in the back. Because the, the dragons do some damage, man. With the enemy and reports the presence of a tank company defending the area. I hope you brought some dedicated anti-tank units with you. Mm -hmm. If not, you smoke in buildings to your advantage. We got it. We got it. All right, we got two force recon. Let's do this. First time playing right now. First time, obviously. <laughs> obviously, we haven't played this mission yet. Trust me, guys. Are we calling in two or one? Hold up. Like that. Yeah, we haven't played this yet. This is the first time ever playing through this. <laughs> we haven't touched this game at all yet. Believe that. Okay, that's two squads. Nice. Okay. Is it? Yep. Alright, get the hell out. 
Yep, obviously, first try. Destroy the high rise early. Yeah, the high rises, honestly, I need to get the force recon and dragons in there immediately. Just immediately. And then marines like around the buildings. I think, yeah. We can't just hold the hill. We just we just die, dude. Getting here was really good. But I gotta also get like marines and dragon team back here. And then force recon and dragon teams back there. And we can't lose a single unit. So we're gonna actually just mortar these already. Uh, no line of sight. The reinforcements okay. you have demanded are gathering over time. Don't forget to call them on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, we got you. Uh, small teams could be useful as well, but uh, we're, we're gonna chill with that. Let's get some more force recon. To the right. Yep, look at that. Yeah, that is definitely the way to go. Enemy tank down. Yeah, first try, first time doing this, we're gonna ace it. We're gonna go wreck some, wreck some tanks. Might just sell these. We, will we get a fob? Nice. Yo, Chaos! Thank you for the follow, my friend. Thank you, guys. If you guys haven't yet, please do hit that follow button. I highly appreciate it. We're gonna go ahead and get a fob. Basically. No line of sight. Fire position, like that. Put a small team with marines on the left. Yeah, we'll get some more points. Uh, what I'm gonna do is smoke this off like this and then put some push some units here and then with the other ones we might just take these smaller buildings so let's get moving all oh, ass brother we're gonna have a supply dump back there and get these force recons to the right there we go that's a good like trifecta of units right there Fall back, fall back. Looks like you're not the only one holding, having trouble holding the fort. Hey man, we just failed twice on purpose. Alright, crazy killer. When you attack with uh, with HE with the mortars, might want a higher fire duration. Yeah, I think so. Keep the dragons with the regular infantry. But you said force recon. What do you want, man? Screw it, we'll, we'll do both. Oh, we can't even fit him in that building. It's fine, we got this. Move those guys back. Yeah, we'll keep like one dragon unit here. Don't send him into buildings alone. Oh yeah, yeah, we got you. I got you, I got you. Gonna move those up. Uh, yeah, we need to wait for more points. So I'm gonna definitely go heavy on the dragon teams. That's all the AA back there. Let's wait with those guys. Let's move up. Those defeats were tactical defeats to scout the enemy forces. Obviously. Obviously, that was that was what we did. Alright, you guys need to sprint. There's a big old tank coming up. Ooh, that ATGM range, man. Beautiful. First try. First try, my friends. Can we get a dragon team yet? Nope. These tanks are about to get smacked. Yeah, AT gems are super, super good. Oops. Thank you guys for all the follows and also the sub and the donations. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Just thank you for tuning in. It's a ton of fun to, uh, ton of fun to stream for sure. Oh, that tank's about to get it. Run! Jesus! There we go. I think this has a higher priority, but we're just gonna let them do whatever they want to do. Yes, we're cleaning that up nicely. We're good. We got a line of sight on. There she goes. 
Oh, there's some infantry in there. Okay. Let's get some marines back here. Get the LAVs up. Mortar can uh, start firing on that. Gonna blind sight on it. There we go. Yeah, our dudes on the right side are doing pretty good. Oh, we got a lot of uh, BTRs coming up though. That could be ugly. Go LAB, go! Just smoke and go, man. Oh, this LAV just moved a little bit too close. It's all tactical defeats to throw them off. We got this. Let's smoke. Fall back. Definitely don't want to lose that guy right now. Oh, that's a tank. Get the hell out of there, man. You crazy? These guys definitely need uh, need some help. Can move them up. The other guys are gonna need some uh, supplies. I'm just I might just get the empty empty truck here. Get our these supplies up. Deploy that smoke. These guys are out of ammo. Oof, that T-72 might be a bit of a problem right now. Let's go uh, creep up on the right. We got this, we're doing much better. Good night. Let's get the mortar working. Okay, creep up. No, the Marines have old stuff, but even so. Graphics are obviously much better. See that auto cannon shoots uh, fly. Yeah. The graphics also, guys, I have it on. I don't have like the best settings right now because of optimization issues that the game has still. So don't uh, you know? Don't worry about how the graphics look. It's gonna be much better soon. Trust me on this. All right, I don't want to lose these guys. We gotta pay attention to that. I just gotta get more marines out. Oh. No, don't get shot. Okay, that was close. That was way too close. Gotta fall back. Getting hit by the tank. Alright, let's get this supply truck here. Fresh Marines. Yeah, the Dragon units are really, really good. smoke and just sprint the hell out of here dude go 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 as a matter of fact charge this building right there okay they're almost good on health I'm just gonna move them up. I need them on the front right now. We're out of supplies. We need some more. So we're gonna see the Cumid from the 90s. Yeah, this game is set to 1900s uh, to current. We got some really modern units in here, including the T14. The T14 Armada, that is. And that, you know, only came out like recently. Not that far behind. Let's go breach. 
Oh, never mind, we got it. I mean, obviously, first time I was playing this, this mission, right? First time ever doing this mission, dude. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Push hard on the left. Yeah, I'm moving up these uh, dragon units now. Uh, together with Marines and Force Recon. That has got to be a deadly blend right there. Yep, that tank just got smacked in no time. Let's make sure these guys get healed up. Oof. Right, maybe not. Maybe not that way. First timer luck, man. Let's get another mortar out for two. And speaking of, there he is. Let's breach this. So what kind of frames am I getting? I am getting about... Oh, it doesn't even say. I think about 30 or 40 frames. With pretty much everything on high except uh, post-processing. But with post-processing it looks much better. So we're gonna wait up for some optimizations first before we go crazy with that. Alright, these guys are good. So that's the Force Recon. We're gonna group them up with the Dragon. Counter-offensive? Damn. I tried to smoke, but it didn't do it. We were already out of smoke. Okay. Are the guys all resupplied? Yes, sir. Marines are good. Gonna load up the supplies, send them to the left here. Oh wait, let's uh let's get all of our guys on the, on the front first. Actually, let's just go for it. We're gonna have to smoke it. Let's hope that works. Let's go, boys. Enemies deploying Uno Reverse. Retreat. Retreat. Yeah, we gotta definitely, when we take this, we gotta go for these buildings and all the way back here with like airborne units. Like as fast as possible. Let's load this back up, I guess. Get some more Marines to the left flank here. Yeah, the artillery they got is quite nasty. Oof, these guys not these guys are not doing so good. Poor BTR man. Oh, the supply truck got wrecked. Where the hell did you guys show up from? Well, goodbye. They didn't go according to their plan. Yeah, the manpads, I don't think manpads are gonna be uh, helping us here with those planes. They need so many shots. Uh, let's get Force Recon. LAB 25, so that works. Smoke works both ways, absolutely. Yeah, wait five minutes before we push. Alright, we lost the AVP there. Yeah, we, we might wait a little bit, get some, get some more points. Gonna go ahead and replenish all my dudes. They're fine. They're also fine. Yeah, there isn't much left over here. The voice acting is so cool, man. Alright, you guys. Replenish. That's all good. We're doing pretty good here. The strafing run with the Harrier? Yes. Now that we know how that works. Smoke! Ah! 
that doesn't work when smoke is locked on like that, it's already a bit too late. It's just gonna fire wherever your unit was. You gotta move from that position too. Which makes sense, right? Like, if I targeted something with an AT gem, but he used smoke, I would just, you know, let it keep firing at the same place. Yeah, we're gonna do a strafing run big time. Didn't they have helicopters? They do, yeah. They have one helicopter, so we might need a man pad. By the transport heli. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too crazy with the transport helis. They seem to kind of ruin the entire thing. In not a good way. They're a little bit buggy. For the first time, yeah, we're doing everything for the first time. Don't worry, guys. First time playing ever. Any game to be, you know. First time me playing a computer game right now. Wow, that was easy. We never... Yeah, first time. Destroy the guns and take control of that fort. Once it's done, establish a defensive perimeter. Enemy paratroopers are mobilizing as we speak. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Let's get these guys uh, resupplied here. Anything that needs ammo or bodies. Two marines, one dragon, one AA, one force recon supplies at the high rise. That is not a, that is not a bad idea. So that's a man pad. Alright, you chill. Uh, force recon. Where's our Where's our dude? Where's our Oh, dragon, right here. How many seats do we have? 30. That should be enough, right? Yeah. How many? Okay, 21 out of 30. These guys are 4. How much is a force recon? 6. Ooh, barely fits. We needed one more. One more seat. Yeah, get in the alley. I hope... Man, that, that is one expensive helicopter, by the way. Us losing that would be the worst thing ever. Let's get this guy fixed here. I want to keep those supplies back there. Take a stinger team out of Hello. Out of Hilo. Uh, I would, but they have helicopters back there. So what I might actually do is just get another... Uh, or Ooh, let's get an Osprey, dude. Yeah, actually, let's unload the man pads. Oh, we can't select one of the dudes. Take Hilo far right then. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is... Not have... Oh, we got two man pads in there. Okay, we're good. Alright, so we got man pad, force recon, marines. And we put these boys in there. Yeah, yeah, now we're good. Alright, one of these... Uh, javelin and force recon. There we go. Alright. These guys are going to the high rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. And then the Osprey is gonna go to the left side here. So we definitely need some uh, ranged units in this. Maybe just a small team. Let's get a small team out. Oh, we'll just put the dragon teams in there. How many seats do we have? 26. Get in there, brother. I definitely want the dragon units in there first. So that's 17. Okay, easy. That is easy. Yep, we got it. Alright, cool. This thing is fixed. There's three more slots. Yeah, that's not gonna fit. Okay, yeah, we got our attack position 
Um, just gotta hope that we don't get slapped by planes, I guess. Now we just gotta wait for a couple points. Escort Stallion with an attack helo. Yeah, we'll get. To, we'll have to save off some points here. But uh, we're good for now. We're good. Let's go ahead and already. Does this work? Uh. Hold up. Like that. So I don't know if the full duration works. Yeah, it seems to not work. Let's get closer a little bit. Because last time we tried this with the full duration, it didn't really work. So we're going to try it out again. Alright, we got our AVP here. Load these guys in. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hold up, the animation works. Guys, check this out. It kind of works. Look. Dude, that is more than enough. That is more than enough. That is... That is great. Full duration DLC. <laughs> yeah. Let's try this. Just mid duration. Also doesn't seem to do the trick. Why? Is this game messing with me right now? Out of range? I guess we're just out of range. I don't know. Let's just move close and go crazy. We almost have enough points. It ate them? I guess they just ate the shells, yeah. Let's not get one tapped by some random dude. How much space is left in these? Oh, quite a bit. Can put a uh, stinger team in there. Small team in there. All right, let's try this again. Okay, no, it works now. We're good. Yeah. Okay. No, you just need to be close, I guess. It doesn't tell you when it's out of range or whatever. Yeah. Tell us what's wrong. Yeah. It seems to just be like, no, no, I'm good. Oh, we're out of range? Yeah, I mean, just figure it out. Just figure it out yourself, buddy. Alright, can we get a helicopter yet? Almost. We almost got a Viper. Yeah, we're gonna get... Uh, these guys... To the right, to the high rise, and these guys to the left. Honestly, I might just pop them down here. Just be crazy with it. Alright, let's load up the boys. Okay, Viper. Here we go. Gotta be ready with those countermeasures this time. Absolutely, we're gonna spam C. Like crazy. Watch it. We can wait another half an hour and get more units, but you know. Game seems to need a lot of micro. It does, but some things seem to be okay. But uh, yeah, we'll see what the final final game does. Alright, let's go, I guess. We're gonna do another uh, barrage. Wait, let's do... Let's try this thing. Oh, guided ammo. Okay. Explosion. Stagger. I don't know if that's going to work. Please tell me it's going to work. Okay, it's working. It's doing something. It's doing something, guys. Nice, good arty, good arty. Oh, we got 90 points. We're getting points real quick. Can we repel on the high rise? Honestly, I kind of wonder that as well. I'm not too sure. What if I just click on this? I think you can, yeah, you just right click on it. I kind of want to try it. Oh, boy, 
Maybe maybe I shouldn't with a full helicopter like this. Could you smoke road east of apartment buildings? Like this? We could try to just smoke off the entire place too, yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Let's do it, why not? Let's just smoke it like... I want to keep line of sight though. Let's do it like that. I don't know. Oh, they're still alive, dude? What the hell? What an What a bunch of animals. They're still good. We're gonna keep mortaring that. That is cool. Are you able to save the game? You know what? That is a very good question. And the answer is probably no. We can quit the game. Alright, we got stingers. Get these guys back. You want already alive until you have the positions? Yeah, we're just softening them up a little bit. Same city in war settings. You need infantry in the apartment in the other positions before you destroy already. That is a very good point. I think that might uh, that might be something that the game didn't mention that well. The thing is that artillery is also really good at taking down helis. So we're gonna smoke this. And this better work. Alright, it, it be working. Viper is good to go. We might just get another Viper in a second, honestly. It did say that in the cutscene. No, it's like before like taking other places before we take this because this isn't even a position yet or an objective you know what i mean so us getting into those positions is definitely better to do right now guys trust me first time playing this don't worry about it just trust me all right let's just go what what is the worst that can happen let's just go for it same last words we're going if we fail it's all your fault guys I want to smoke. <laughs> Dude, they're not breathing. Those guys are not having a good time right now. Just keep... Uh, keep pressing C. We're good. Unload. 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 Press C. Press C and unload. Press C and unload. Go home. Alright, nothing went wrong, we got everything. Oh yeah. Alright, 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 we got this, we got this. First time trying it. Big brain moves. First time. Get another Viper out. Can we fit another dude? Nope. Go. Go. Get some more marines. Osprey. Just go for it. Alright, let's take it. Enjoy the game. Ignore the tryhards. Which tryhards? No, they're all they're all fine. We're, we're all enjoying this. There's no tryhards. I'm enjoying the, uh, the kind of banter we got going on. A little bit of backseating is fine because we're all kind of new to it. So we're trying to figure it out, right? Backseating is okay, but if you guys were to backseat me playing Warno, I would kick you all in the face. Ain't nobody backseating me in that game. Also, we're getting trashed over here. Can y'all just use some, like, RPGs or something? There you go. Don't even have enough points for that. Oof, we lost so many units with that. We gotta take that out quick. Coastal artillery destroyed. Now take that fort and establish a defensive perimeter. 
I'm trying, brother. The enemy paratroopers have taken off and should be on you any minute now. My oh. ships are on their way. Why would they do that? Hold your position until the arrival of the landing party. You think the rockets from the Force Recon are hitting the trees? You're actually right. That is what's happening. And I did that on purpose to uh, create uh, wood chips uh, for cover. Yeah. Bet you didn't think of that. Bet you didn't know that. These buildings overlooking the fort make your position indefensible if enemy troops take them. Hold this position as long as you can. Yeah, I might actually move these guys left. There's gonna be so many infantry units here. Unload, my friends. Shrapnel damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, like... Guys. First time me playing this game. But, trust me. He's fine. Oh, we got some action coming in. I should get uh, these guys in that building. We'll get the planes incoming. We literally can't stop these planes. Tactical wood splinter strike? Absolutely. The scale of the game is insane, dude. Looks so cool, just the vertical scale of the game as well. Let's get both helis on the left. Uh, actually, I keep one here. Nice. Unload that ASAP. Oh wow, the range on the helicopters is insane, man. Look at this, this guy is firing all the way there. I think the scale of this game is definitely reminiscent of World in Conflict in such a good way. Oh, that's a man pad. Get the hell out. Let's go and land there if we can. Can we land there? Or do we just go back to base? Reverse a bit. That's a lot of crap right there. I wonder if you can fire at that range. Nope. Hey, we took out that heli, nice. Did we fix our unit up, or did we just... I don't know, we lost that one though. Let's call in a uh, airstrike. I want to do a uh, strike on this. Uh, strafing run. Let's see how that goes. Because we're going to need it. Honestly, if we don't win this time, I'm just... That would be very sad. Insufficient availability. The Viper is in the air. Wow, you're just short. You were just short. Do a bombing run. Oh, we might be short with that too. Damn it! They're coming up the hill again. Dude, we better win this time. I'm gonna get some more units up here. Get the uh, transports up here. I might get an Osprey just for the gun. Honestly, yeah. The high risers are falling into the heads of the enemy. You're gonna have a bad time if you don't retake them fast. What do you want from me, brother? What? 
What do you want? They're not killing him. You want me to babysit my forced recon, man? Harrier's fine, don't worry about it. Sprint your ass in there, dude. Take it back. There you go. Dude, if I... We gotta win it. We gotta win this. No, no way around it. Better not be any manpads in there. That stretch head is a bit of a problem, though. Man, my dudes are hanging in by a thread right now. Oh, the MTBR doesn't help. God damn it. We gotta hold both positions? That's the secondary. I got the fort! Oh my god, this game. I got the fort! I had the fort! We had the fort, man. Come on. I'm doing this motherfucking mission again. You lost it for a sec? Yeah, I guess, but like, we took it back. It's not like we just gave up on, uh... It's not like we just gave up on D-Day because we lost a little bit of... A little bit of... A little bit of dirt. I can't even end the task. What the hell? Nice. Yo. Element. Element 80. Thank you for the follow. Oh. Man, my, my booty cheeks hurt. Guys, don't worry. First time trying it. First time. First time playing this. Let's go back into it. Yeah, once taken, you can't lose it again, dude. Word. I'm gonna go crazy now. First time playing it. I'm doing good, Edelman. Hope you're doing good too, my friend. Well, for the ones that are tuning in, uh, first time launching the demo mission. Absolute first time. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, we gotta flood those high-rise buildings and also get a helicopter with supplies to drop right next to them. That is the main plan right now. That is the main plan. What do you mean stream duration? We've only been live for five minutes. We just launched the game. Gentlemen, we have just received the green light for the landing operation on Valtes Peninsula. <clears throat> oh, this mission looks cool. What is it about? The Russian Baltic fleet is currently resupplying in the harbor of Kaliningrad and will soon be ready to take the sea. Taking control of this peninsula would trap them in the lagoon, rendering them basically non-operational in the region. Our troops are ready to storm the beach, but according to our latest satellite data, the mobile coastal artillery batteries defending the harbor. These guns must be silenced before we can launch the main assault, or this will turn into Omaha Beach 
The guns have been spotted here. This is a battery of Barrick 152 millimeter howitzers. They can detect and engage fast moving targets above the water. That includes ships and helicopters. Local intel reports that a battery of surface to air missiles is present on the south bank of the lagoon. But the precise position of each launcher is unknown as they're relocated every day. That makes a missile or airstrike way too hazardous. Our best option is to send in a light force to eliminate the anti-air and artillery batteries by surprise and open the way for the main landing. Uh -huh. They don't expect that kind of attack, so the ground forces in the area are limited. Commander, you will be in charge of the first wave while I organize the main landing. Prepare your troops, but remember, it's a one-time opportunity, so it's make or break. Make it happen, Commander. Good luck. My ships cannot approach as long as the coastal battery located in this fort is operational. Wow, this looks cool, man. The anti-air missiles are located on the other side of the canal. A Russian missile battery generally consists of six vehicles. Two really? of them have been located on the beach, but the others must be hiding in the nearby city. Oh. oh. Six vehicles? The reconnaissance group has made contact with the enemy. Six of them? reports the presence of a tank company defending the area. This looks pretty I good. I hope you this. brought some dedicated anti-tank units with you. If not... Use smoke and buildings to your advantage. Yeah, we'll be all right. Let's uh, let's keep the face up here. I hope it doesn't lag. Hold up. Uh, all right. Let's go with this. I'm seeing 60 frames, even though I have 35 in game. All right. First time playing the game, man. Wow, this looks amazing. So infantry you can get a dragon in the MTVR like that. Wow, this. Who would have known that the game is so intuitive right now? This is amazing. Look at that. We're just blasting through it right now. Sheesh. So good. <laughs> Wonder what we'll have to do this mission. I have no idea. I have no idea. This looks so cool. Alright, so fire position. Yeah, we just go like that. Easy, dude. Yellow Cossack. What's up, man? Guys, if you do like Warno content or strategy content, Yellow Cossacks has a YouTube channel of his own. He just posted one that we did like uh, a couple days ago, I think. Go check him out if you want to see some additional content besides, you know, me and other people. It's always good to have multiple channels that you uh, follow. Otherwise you're banned. Alright, let's go... Small teams might also be good. What is the range on these? 600. Don't Honestly, yeah. Call them on the battlefield. Let's call it in. Party was out of range? Absolutely. Bolt is so natural in this game. See that? Oh, it's a bit laggy right now, isn't it? Wait, what if I do this? Yeah, now it's fine. Alright, we're good. See, I have the fix for everything. Yeah, get some supplies out. Uh, that's only 2k. We're gonna wait up with supplies. Actually, a challenge unlike most RTS these days? Yeah. When it comes out? We don't really know when it comes out. There will be a playable... I'm coming for that. Okay, never mind. The demo will be publicly available to everyone starting Monday. And AA is super good. AA is super good. Uh, speaking of, we're not gonna get AA just yet. I do want some more Force Recon. And maybe some Scout Sniper. Actually, let's just get Force Recon everywhere. Yeah, we're just gonna walk these guys over to the left. Just sprint. There we go. Finally, actually, bloody challenge. Hell yeah. You need to build some GLA tunnels? Dude, the fact that you know about that... It's running fine, stream's looking good. The only problem is, because I have it in performance mode, I can't see uh, alerts that easily, maybe. So if you do follow or sub or, you know, whatever, I might not see it. So sorry for that. Let's group these guys up. Alright. 
We're just grouping up our dudes right now. Oh wait, we have too many of these. Yeah, let's sell some of those. Sell the MTVRs. Okay, we're good to go. Let's move up a little bit. So we've got US Marines going. Let's get a force recon together with the uh, Dragon teams to group up here. Actually, let's just... Yeah, let's just do this. Here we go. Nice. Okay, that's a good group. That's a good group. Um, Alright. Snipers might also be good, but I don't think we need them. Yet. Yeah, let's go. We definitely need a dragon team on the left. I might just charge these guys up on the left here. Get the small on the left. These marines go there. Ooh, there's a tank coming up. Sprint. Sprint. Got a T-72 back there. Alright, let's go. We're such a natural. Don't forget, dragons have so little ammo. Yeah, I'm gonna get uh, supply trucks out. 100%. How many do they carry? Only two, I guess? Or a couple? Four, okay. Yeah, we when we take those high-rises, we're gonna go for uh, a lot of supplies with them. We're gonna just load up on supplies together with them. Dump those supplies there. Hopefully we don't get tanked, literally. Let's go ahead and smoke this position. Like that. Here we go. Yeah, honestly, like, things are as accurate as they should be IRL. Like, you don't get 50% accuracy with man pads on helicopters that have no ECM, no countermeasures. You, you hit that thing. It's super accurate. Javelins are, like, really, really accurate. Like, 85% from uh, field performance. So it's like, you know, it's, it feels like they're just toys when you make the accuracy super low. It's not a fun experience. You gotta have, like... You gotta have accurate stuff. It just makes the gameplay also so much faster. In a good way. Probably gonna get a lot of hate for this right now. Oof, that tank is messing us up right now. No line of sight. That might be a problem. Let's uh, charge up here. We're gonna keep the infantry in there. They can deal with it. Okay, good. Let's move up here. Like, look how fast-paced this gameplay is. But still tactical, because things do damage. Like, you can't just rush up like this. Know what I mean? RNG can have a huge impact? Absolutely, yeah. You send 500 point tanks to the open alone, you'll get smashed by a 60 point AT infantry unit. Yep. Uh, how it should be, right? A dude with a Molotov cocktail is gonna mess your day up if you come, come too close. That's not cool. We survived an RPG to the face. Alright, get these guys back on HP. Uh, they're all good. Okay. Let's move up. Now I'm gonna reload these. And move them to the right side. Get those guys back on health. Ooh, that T-72. Oh, are we gonna get it? Nope, building. Nice. That is a good way to use cover in this game, too. We got one more AT gem in that. Are you using small teams? I definitely need to use these, yeah. Because they have really decent range. 700 meters or so? 600. 
Uh, in comparison, the dragons have 750, so it's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, let's uh, charge up here. Man, my main army is on the left. Kind of OP. Yeah, these guys are just there to piss them off a little bit. Here we go. We're doing some damage. Pop these guys down there. Man, we're doing so good for our first time ever playing this game. Amazing. Amazing. Do smalls come with more launchers? Um... Yeah, you get two launchers. You got two of them. Dragons have range of 1500, don't they? Oh yeah, sorry. I, look, I looked at the wrong one. Yes, 1500. And smalls have 600. My apologies. Very good. You're a sharp person right there. Gonna have to get out, get the hell out of here with this guy. Let's uh, breach, get into these buildings. Uh, we're gonna have to flank these guys a little bit. Resupply, get the uh, get the trucks back to the left here. Nice. Very nice. We need javelin. I wish I could get javelins, but they're not in here. Yeah, javelins would do some work. Wait, are we walking with those? That's ah, fine. Let's get him in the LAV. Uh, we can't. Let's get him in this. We'll pop him in that. Get some, uh, let's get these supplies a little bit further up here. Sell that. There we go. We're doing pretty good. Now comes the counter push. It's what the devs had when they played it. Yeah, I, they definitely had a different version. Yeah, I saw the, um, they're like teaser during their live streams about it. Definitely has some other things. Uh, let's load these up. There we go. Get these guys to the front. Do we have anything else in the back here? Mortar. Alright. Wait. I guess that works. I don't know. Run, boys. It's a bit fast, like how far, how fast you can go through buildings. But it'll probably be worked on. Alright, let's push. These guys are messed up. Get in there, boys. Fight them. Man, these guys are holding out. Nice. Okay, we gotta move the supplies there. Let's sell this guy. Probably why it's so hard, as it looks the same mission, but with a few units missing. Yeah, Javelins would help big time. Javelins would have done a good job. We got it. Counter attack. Schmounter attack. All fine by me. Get supplies there. Let's not use the... Um, the transports. I'm gonna be quite... Oh, they don't have tanks there. Oh, we're good. I don't want to lose the transports. They're shocked, panicked. Jesus. I like the sounds too. Sounds are pretty good. All 
All right, boys, unload the package. Yeah, sounds are good. It's nice and crisp. You know, nothing too Hollywood-esque. Just what you need. Makes it for a much realistic uh, game. Much more realistic game. All right, we got everything on the front. We haven't used the mortars, but we don't really need them at the moment. I guess we can mortar these guys, but... Yeah, what's the range on these? How can I tell? Um, 3,000. Yeah, that would have definitely been a too, bit too far. That's 2,500. That makes sense. Alright. Let's load that back up. Send it right here. We're just gonna send these guys forward. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, let's keep the truck here. We're gonna resupply everything up, up there. Easy, man. First time playing it? We got it. Easiest game ever. For the ones that are just tuning in, I'm just kidding. We played this three times. This this mission is difficult, dude. It's definitely a tough mission. Feels like you've done this before. Yeah. A couple times. This is the fourth time. Fourth time's a charm. You're doing better than others for the first try? Absolutely, dude. We're just the RTS god, like... Just... Do I need to say more? AI didn't stand a chance. Oh, man. Go crazy, boys. Go crazy. Alright, let's um, get all of these... All these units up here. We need some supplies. I just go for five. It's quite expensive. And we got 3k in here. Missile launcher taken out. That was the last missile launcher. Air assets are now available. Oh, okay, that's nice. from the reinforcement panel. Now cross the canal, destroy the guns, and take control of that fort. All right, I have a plan. Once it's done. Establish a defensive perimeter. Enemy paratroopers are mobilizing as we speak. I have a plan. We're gonna go heavy here. Okay. Three squads in each building. Dump a metric ton of supplies here. So that these guys have enough ammunition. And hopefully, that will blob up the enemy here. Then we're gonna do a Harrier strike right on top of them. Okay. Left side was... Not that heavily attacked, so we should be okay if we just kind of do the same thing, just spread out units everywhere. More than just a ton, yeah. Metric crap ton. A big old crappy ton right there. Alright, buddies. Everyone, get your things in order. One unit in the port with AA? Yeah, over here? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll just we'll just get one of them. Okay. I might get another mortar. But honestly, it's a bit expensive. Alright. Uh, we got plenty of supplies still. Let's unload them back here. These guys are all healthy. I might honestly just move up on the ground towards those positions and just put our units in there. So get the Marine in there. And that guy. Uh, where's the other dudes? 
21 seats. <clears throat> yeah, we can only put two squads. Can Force Recon call in off map? No, not yet, at least. But that will be in the game. So we can fit four more guys in here. Let's call in the... Uh, yeah, let's put the man pads in there. Alright, here we go. We're getting somewhere. Supplies are all all out. We're gonna need to... We're gonna save up our points. Alright, what's that? A small team? Marines? They're a bit depleted, but that's okay. Get the dra dragon units in there. Alright, this one is done. That one is ready. Still stuck? I've had time to watch a movie? Dude, we failed this mission three times because it's like, first of all, first one, okay, it was my fault. Second one, there was a crash. Third one, we lost it for a millisecond, but then took it back, but then the game was like, nope. I saw that. So, uh, four times a charm. How much... Space do we have? Six. Uh, get this guy in there. Yeah. Alright, we are going to get... The helicopters kind of got smacked really early. I might just not get those. But then again, let's get a heli. Alright. Yeah, where's the rest of my... Uh, Dragon dudes. Guess they're in here. Alright, there's definitely one in there. Let's load this guy in here. Together with a force recon. Just gotta stay on those flares. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna spam C. <clears throat> uh, three more slots. We don't have anything. Oh, we got the small team. Let's move in the small team. Why not? All right, we got three transports full. These marines could probably move into uh, absolutely nothing. Should we get an offspray and just load up back here? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Those vipers have a billion meters range. Actually, yeah. What is the range on these? Oof, twenty eight hundred on the HMs. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna keep him back here then. Like, way back here. Alright, we got an Osprey coming in. Um, Marines, Force Recon. I need some more Marines. How many seats do we have? 26. So we can fit two squads of Marines in here. Let's get another one. Wonder if they outrange the track they ate. Probably not, to be honest. But the only thing they had was like a, a scratch head or something. Quite a quite a light AA piece. Alright, this should be full. Yeah, 25, okay. Now these guys are US Marines only. They're going up here, for sure. Alright, we got another dude. Force Recon, we'll group him up with Force Recon. What's the Stinger range? Uh, zero meters. No, it doesn't, it doesn't say. I have them loaded up though. They're pretty good. Oh, here it is. No, that's a small team. Their range is pretty good. Auto stream is now. Not seeing anyone get past the fort yet. Looks like you must hold the high rises. Yeah, we're gonna get it, dude. We're gonna be the first one. We're not giving up. I could get more marines. And just... No, we need supplies. Yes, we need supplies. We gotta save money for supplies. After that, we're good. We got three transports. All these transports are going here. I don't care. I don't care what the game does. They're all going there. Uh, I just gotta figure out which one is going to the... To the right side. Yeah, we don't need the manpads there. 
Okay. These guys are going to the high rise. Yeah, and these are going to the high rise. This guy is going to the port with the man pad. These are to the high rise. These two Ospreys are going right here. Then we got our helicopter chilling back here. And we're gonna get a big ol' supply. That should do it. Right? Now let's wait for 10 tons. In a stallion? That is an interesting question. Marines. We need a lot of points for that. Let's sell the LAVs. We could do that too, actually. Get this, get this. Like that. Going to the high rise right away is pretty risky. We got there in the, uh, in the other game. We got there immediately. Like, there won't be any AA yet. But that's the thing. Yeah, so that's 110. Okay, let's wait for it to hit 200. Then we'll attack it. We got some units being sold. Yeah, it's undefended until we destroy the artillery back here. And it's not possible to take it after you destroy the RD. It's so difficult. Oh, we can speed things up. Probably shouldn't touch any of that. Not break the game. Alright, that should give us a good amount of cash. There you go, $50. A little bit more, a little bit more. Alright, Super Stallion. Marines. Supplies. Like that. Alright, here we go. This is it. Now, do we wait a little bit more, or do we just go? Let's just go. Nothing ever went wrong in this game. Alright, we got a metric ton of... A couple metric tons of supplies here, and a marine unit. We're gonna put this guy in there as well. Sprint. I might just keep the Viper here to destroy these things. And that thing is nasty. You need something lifted? Bridge, Looks like you can pause in top right corner. Yeah, you can, yeah. Just don't destroy Artie until in position. Absolutely, yeah. We're not doing that. Osprey, ready. Man, I, I guess we just go. Hold up. Roger, Gonna smoke him. There's plenty of seats in there, right? Okay, they don't want to get in there. That's fine. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and smoke it. Because they do fire at helicopters as well, which is not POG. Nothing bad ever. ever. <laughs> oh my god. The yeah, alley's completely full. I guess so, yeah. The seats aren't, but, you know, capacity-wise, it's built to the brim right now. I might move all of these guys up there as well. We're just gonna load it up, dude. Let's go. Whatever happens. Whatever did something bad happen with a helicopter insertion, right? It's gonna be so risky. If this works, I'm not even re-recording this for a video. This is what you guys are gonna have to see. Base and everything. Stinger teams. Oh, we might use this here. Marines, at your command, sir. Where are the AA teams? I want to base the fire in that building. 
Oh, we're doing it. Unload, my friends. It's all fine. They don't see anything. Don't worry about it. Now drop the supplies. Okay, Marines. Small teams. Get in the frickin' buildings, dudes. Get your ass back. Get your ass out of here. Actually, we might... Oh, yeah. We kind of went over the wrong position right there, but don't worry about it. No one saw anything. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. We're still good. Get the Viper to work. We got 290 points here, by the way. Uh, Scout snipers? I don't know how effective they are. We might need this guy up there. Yeah, we're gonna get some more dudes up there. Dude, I don't know if it's if this isn't enough, I don't know what is. Dragon is best front. Yeah, we're gonna get him up to the front. It will kind of be useless over here. Uh, we'll put him, um, yeah, we'll, let's get this guy here. Put what is left over in the point. Yeah, we'll clean that up pretty easily. We'll get like a couple of these guys up here and then sprint them back down. Let's do that. But we do need to hold that hill. My plan, honestly, is just to be so aggressive here at the front that they don't even get to take the hill at all. Man's throwing the entire kitchen sink at it. Pretty much, man. We got two helicopters as well. Alright, let's go. Let's put one dude over here. There's nothing in that one. Let's get the force recon on the right building. We got stingers and a re uh, unit there. Got some vipers. I could use some more infantry. We do have another marine team here. Let's get a super stallion to quickly move these guys over. Let's chill. We got a good position here. Let's load up the Super Stallion. Nothing else in the back. Good. We're gonna save the rest for the, uh, for the planes. What a bunch of AA. Yeah, those RDP... Oh, they got a Sprejet in the back. Ooh, if we take that out... If we take that out, our helis might be okay. Load it up, boys. Let's quickly uh, clear that up. Out of range. Jesus Christ. It's fine, we got supplies. Why can we not? F is it hidden? All right, forget about it. I guess we can't do it. Let's get the boys back. Yeah, it's all. I don't. I don't have anything else we can do, dude. There's literally nothing else I can do. That thing is trying to snipe me. The supplies aren't in the best position either. 
and the attack hello hit, hit it. It can, but these guys also fire at Hellies. I don't want to go too crazy with them. Oh, you mean to scratch it? No, you get you get smacked. Oh, there's another one. Countermeasures, boys. Just land. Just land. Just land. Alright, cool. Now take that board and establish a defensive perimeter. The enemy paratroopers have taken off and should be on you any minute now. My ships are on their way. Your orders are to hold your position until the arrival of the landing party. I gotta reposition this thing. Can I do that? These buildings overlook in the fort. Oh, helicopter is bugged. Yeah, helicopter is bugged. We're not touching that. I have a feeling that this left side is a little bit too under, under defended. I don't have the best feeling about that one. Let's get these uh, transports to the left real quick. It's starting to put supplies in front building. Yeah, I kind of want to, but it's it's not doing it. It's uh, stuck. These guys good on ammo. Yep, we might just move them back real quick and get them resupplied. These guys healed. Yeah, the Hellies are just gonna chill and shoot whatever tries to come up that. Same for this guy. Might just get some scout snipers and uh, just off sprays, whatever, dude. This is it. The enemy paratroopers are here. There we go. Literally fall back and resupply immediately. Resupply, resupply, come on. There you go, go back. Uh, let's not fire yet. We want to fire at the helicopters, not these planes. Alright, we're good. God help, God help me. Lord help me. It crashed! Nikita. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nikita, what's up, man? Oh, my God. Why you guys do this? It's still going on on Steam. Oh no, it's stuck, like, stuck, stuck. You got one frame right now. This is it, so enjoy. Impossible to beat the fort. I'm gonna do it. I have nothing to do this weekend. I'm gonna... Nikita, listen. I'm gonna change all the settings I can to win this this weekend. Alright. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be just fine. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a great day. But yeah, if you guys do want to support the channel, even my laptop's going crazy. If you guys want to support the channel, please do subscribe to the to the YouTubes. If you're watching on Twitch, go ahead and follow me on Twitch. I really appreciate it. If you got a Twitch Prime, it's free to do. Just you know, help a brother out. Uh, four times, fifth times a charm. We're gonna get back to this whenever a hotfix is coming out. Then we're gonna get crack it. We're gonna be the first one first one to go through this mission. If it if the hotfix comes out in the middle of the night, I'm waking up. Dude, I should have a heart rate monitor on screen. You'll see some cool stuff. Yeah. We'll call this a win. I did it four times. I won, goddammit. Let's go back to the main menu real quick. Restart. Shall I shall I do it? That's fine. We won. But yeah, if you guys want to even support more, literally cost less than a Twitch sub. Try to become a patron. 
And by becoming a patron, you fill this thing up with coffee. And by filling this thing up with coffee, you fill your main page with content. It's that easy. I just want to look at a couple of these units here. Yeah, an armory tour as a quick break. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, What is the best place for my face? Bottom right. I guess. Yeah, that works. Actually thought you'd win at that time. Dude, we had like... We had the best strategy. We had the entire strategy planned out. Down to the... Oh, the thing is still on the screen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Down to like the, the, the supplies. To everything. Not tonight, definitely. It's fine, dude. I'm just kidding. It's... It, we're all excited. If I wasn't excited, I wouldn't play the same mission four times. Mind dropping the Patreon? Absolutely. Let me... Oh yeah, there's no link in the videos. Why, why am I even promoting it right now? I completely forgot to put it in there. My bad, my bad. I'm a noob streamer, as you guys can tell. Do -do -do. Let me... Put it down here. Mm-hmm. Do that. Yeah. Okay. We're getting it. Almost there. And... Here you go. Yeah, so if you guys want to become a patron, literally a dollar a month. Like, it's it's a huge help. And uh, it really just makes it possible for me to kind of, you know, look at new genres. Just gives a lot of creative freedom. Like, that is the main part that I like about uh, Patreon. It's kind of like a an ongoing Kickstarter. Let me put it on Twitch too for once wondering. Thank y'all for tuning in on Twitch as well. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's go through the armory while we're at it. Uh, if it's lagging... Yeah, it might be lagging. We'll turn off the camera so you guys can see the entire screen too. Doo -doo. Yeah, it was a ton of fun, Chaos. Thank you for tuning in, my friend. We're just going to quickly go through the um, some of the armory. This is the in-game music, by the way. Alright, these things did some work today. AVPs. My god, are they good. Nice. Yo, Pathos Gaming, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Welcome. Hope you enjoyed my four attempts at the mission. Uh, four successful attempts. I, I completed the mission four times. I just wanted to redo it. Trust me. Yeah, I definitely love this customization option you got in this game. The BMD2 just looks so adorable. Weapon package with conquers. BMDs. BMDs. T34, four hours live. Yep, absolutely, man. Uh, by the way, try using presets for graphic settings. Oh, let me try that. Uh, reset. What does potato do? Honestly, that doesn't even look bad. Let me go for the highest settings. I think the post-processing right now is taking a lot of power for some reason. Because if I go ultra... How many frames am I getting? I'm getting... Let me just not move. 27, 28 frames. If I put this on low... Yeah, it kicks up to 40, 50 right now yeah that's much smoother it's the post processing that's doing some something interesting right now i'm not quite sure but yeah the game looks good honestly it just needs a little bit of optimization but that's that's normal it's not even the live demo guys this is all like pre-live demo the demo is just to get feedback about how you know if there's any mechanics uh that you guys are uh worried about that you might want to change or if there's game breaking bugs it's all about that kind of stuff it's about seeing if the foundation of the game not even the foundation to see if the land that the foundation is going to be put in is uh you know solid enough for you guys to give the go ahead so don't uh, be you know open-minded when we go through the demo 
yeah, the gameplay is really fun. It looks so much more... It's more zoomed in and it's like smaller scale, although the map is massive. It's kind of weird to explain. The map is massive, but you're like in a world in conflict kind of environment. It's so... It's really well done. And if you guys didn't know, this is all made in Unity, by the way. Yeah, look at that. We can add the other AT gems. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Chrysanthemus instead of Cornets. Also, these have different types of... Uh, different types of ammunition. Is it? Oh yeah, look. Here, this one is only vehicles. This one can be our... This one can also target infantry. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I, I really like the uh, customization. Here, let's look at the Screja. This thing was messing us up. Bolt, have you heard if you can say about any mod support for this? Uh, there will be an editor. There will be a scenario editor as well. Um, I had a video on this last month. It should... Yeah, if you go to the Broken Arrow News uh, playlist, I think it's the second video from the from the end of the playlist that talks about it about mod support i don't know which part i put in the video so i don't want to like break any nda but if you check that video that's all like live or public information but that should tell you some more yeah you can upgrade anything from like the machine guns down to the armor package what i want to show you guys is the a10 if we go into air tab what is the igla range let me see Igla. Uh, effective range, 1500 meters. Igla N, 1500, yeah. The cool thing is they also have a minimum range, so 100 meters. So you can't fire from point blank, you know. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I want to see the A10. The A10 is so cool. Also really nice that there's like different areas for your units, like for vehicles. You go out in the open for your tanks, you're over here. For your helicopters, you're over here. But your planes, you got in the hangars. Super cool. Yeah, the Seahawks and Blackhawks are really nice. You can put so much on them. Look what you can do with the A-10. Outer pylons. Let's go ahead and put some... You know... Some sidewinders. Middle pylons. Some bombs. Some Mavericks. And then here, what should we do here? Some JDAMs. Or we just go for big old bombs. Or we go for a lot of ton of smaller bombs. Rockets. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's a ton of fun. Another cool thing. This guy. AC-130. That's right. That's gonna be cool. That's a spooky unit right there, pun intended. You got the GAU-12, you got the Bowforce, and you got the 105mm. Another really interesting thing, guys. Yeah, the points. The points are placeholders, probably. Like, this is here, a work in progress. A lot of things are work in progress still. How about this guy? The B-1B Lancer. And guess what the loadout of this plane is? Guess, just, guys, just guess. Nuke. Nuke. Nuke, my friend. It's got a nuke. Blast radius, half a click. Penetration, just ignore. Just ignore the penetration. Not one, but two. Holy shit, you're right. A B61 nuke, too. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah, 2,000 points. That is a lot of points. If you think about what we bought with, you know, like 200 of them. Yeah, you're throwing 
Yeah, these are all placeholders, guys. You're not actually launching an M1 Abrams <laughs> at like Mach Schnell. Oh man. Yeah, the night attack that we had that we played with, I believe it had definitely the rockets. I don't know if it had any bombs. But yeah, helicopters. I think my favorite might be might be the Nighthawk. You can add the GAU twenty ones on the roads, on the doors. You can have hydro rockets or the gun pod. You can add hellfires. Such a cool helicopter. Yeah, four hundred meters blast radius. That's gonna be sick. Oh, did Nolan pop in? Oh, what's up, man? Yeah, it throws Abrams out of the end. <laughs> I want to make a meme of that. I want to make a meme. Someone is going to make a meme out of it. I just want to see like a... Instead of a bomb drop, you just put a PNG of an Abrams in there. Then a giant explosion. I do wonder though. Nikita, are you still here? From Steel Battle Leica. Is there a VTOL on these jets? That's what I'm wondering. A team movie meme? Oh my god, you're right. Can you check if you change Arsenal if it changes in the game? What do you mean? IL-76 gigantic, yeah. That thing did not go down from a couple stingers either. Almost there? Nice, okay. Uh, IL-76. The... What I'm wondering is, in Wargame, this thing was in the game, this model but it was only for like the campaign look at how big that thing is yeah these things are cool i like that they can't be shot down that easily with like man pads it's pretty nice if you want to challenge mess with the russian forces yeah it seems like really fun to play with su-22s or 25s that is a nice plane wingtip what can you put on this ecm pods R60s. That's pretty dope. So you can have ECM. Oh my god, how much? Man, you guys went overboard with this. I like it. You can put some rockets on there. Definitely want some like anti tank. KH 25s. Helicopter, aircraft, vehicle. OFABs. Are those like small. Non guided bombs or something? RBK 500s. It's just a propane tank. Propane tank with a fan at the back. Inner pylons. It's so cool that you can modify everything. I feel like this is becoming ace combat. Watch that clip. Hold up. Oh, you mean a clip of them with the A-10? Yeah. I thought he actually posted a clip there. You can tell your planes to flare. Yep. It's... I wonder if that's going to be uh, staying manual, which I don't mind. You have to take a bit more control of your plane. Or if it's uh, also going to be automatic. That paint looks cool. Rear bay. Where's the rear bay? Okay, literally in the... Okay. We call them the Booty Cheeks Bay right here. Jesus. R37s. That, now that's cool. Can you show the BMP-97 cord? Sure, yeah. This guy. That is a nice truck. Weapon auto cannon. And spit some on you. Oh, that looks sick. That looks cool. That's that's that secure container. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a cool vehicle. My favorite, I think, was was it this one? No, the. It might have been a tiger actually. Was it the American vehicle? Yeah, this thing. This thing is my favorite, just from looks. Box. 
Also the music. Really nicely done there. Yeah, there was... You can also adjust the weaponry on artillery. On some of the artillery, at least. Was it the Acacia? Uh, which one was it? Might have been the American one. Yeah, actually, it was the American one. Yeah, speaking of American units, let's go over there real quick. Out of curiosity, is a sea knight in the game? A helicopter. We got Nighthawk. Not yet. Maybe, maybe later. The burrito is in the game, yep. Got, we got a burrito. We go into support. There it is. The burrito's right here. People are going to hate that reunit already. Also, really cool thing is transport helicopters that are like convertible into an assault helicopter. So you can add S8 rockets or gun pods. Or just literally only rockets, which is pretty cool as well. Can you show the T-14 in Russian AA? Sure, yeah. Let's go with the T-14. Here it is. There is no T-80 yet, but I think it's going to be added later. There's like T-80BVs, T-14s. And also this is like only the available units here. One of the uh, specializations for each country is only available now. And even then they're not complete, probably. So T-80BV here, you can upgrade this. With like uh, upgraded package, armor. Look at that armor on the side. This is a really cool thing because this additional armor is giving you protection against heat. So kinetic is 790 millimeters, I would say. And protection against heat is 1190. So if something with 700 millimeter heat fires at you, that can only pen 700 millimeter, you're going to be fine. Uh, show the TU-22 or TU-160. Are those planes? TU-22. Here it is. That looks nasty as well. Cruise missiles. RBK 250s. Just a bunch of bombs. And a big old bomb in the bomb bay somewhere. Yeah, the TU-95. I'm guessing this is going to be the Russian nuker. Because there is no customization for it. Which kind of would make sense, I guess. I don't know. That's pretty cool. What else do we have here? That is really nice. The Spitza. And yeah, this thing definitely looks pretty awesome, to be honest. Yeah, what? which other unit do we got here? Yeah, in terms of infantry, the interesting thing... Let's say you have... Uh, you have the Marines. They only have one guy with a Maw. With anti-tank. So if this guy get shot, the entire squad loses anti-tank capabilities. So this guy would then have to be replenished, which is cool. Same goes for these. So if these two javelins are taken out, yeah, here's the javelin team that we didn't have, the weapon squad. If these two would be taken out, you have no AT anymore in this. Also, some of these guys have, uh, uh, where is it? Which one was it? Marine Raiders? Yeah, this guy has his night visions down. I think he's blind, my guys. <laughs> this guy has no cornea left. Is there a repair or resupply for troops? Yes, there is, yeah. You just move in a supply truck, they get resupplied. So even like Avengers, you can add double missile pods or have an M240. You can have a little bit of better protection and small arms. Uh, there is like a... Where is it? There's like a small buggy kind of thing. Nice. Yo, render. Thank you for the follow, my friend. I think it might have been a Russian vehicle. Yeah, here, the Paladin, for example. You can adjust the gun to the long boy. Look at that. Nah, that's just... That's just too much. Might be thermal. I guess, yeah. yeah we'll just say it's thermal. <laughs> nice. Lamarck, thank you for the follow. It is indeed nice. Hey, I had that first, okay? Before your channel exploded. That's mine. We got the Patriot Pack 2. 
You can upgrade it with more missiles, which is nice. You can add an M240 on it. And a Patriot Pack 3. You can do the same thing with this. You can increase it to 16 missiles. And even armor. Basically a cage for the crew. Compensation gun, it truly is. The M6 linebacker. I always loved using vehicles like this as fire support. Better recon. Busk armor. Any cool recon squads? Oh yeah, absolutely. There are some really nice force recon units. These are pretty fun to play with. You got tons of vehicles. Recon is really powerful in this game, including Reapers. Reaper drones. So you can add 8 Hellfires to this. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, para Rescue. Oh, look at... Dude, that... Okay, that unit card is epic. That is sick. Look at that unit card, man. Can I zoom in on that? Hold up. Let me do this without breaking the game. Yep. I might just blow up my channel in the in the worst way ever. Give me a second here. Okay, we're good. Never mind, I'm breaking it. Never mind. We're fine. Yeah, that looks like an amazing thing. I will be posting all these like screenshots on um, on Discord as well. If you guys want to join the Discord that I have linked down below. Rangers unit card looks epic as well. We got Rangers, you got Scout Snipers. You got lots of recon vehicles. Bradleys. With also, some of these have Iron Fist. Busk Reactive Armor. JLTV. Really nice looking vehicle. 30mm wood javelin. Yeah, the demo will be out Monday. What else do we have that is interesting here? Oh yeah, the Apache. You can just load this thing up with everything. Inner pylons. More hydro rockets. Guided rockets. Hellfires. More hellfires. So 16 of these. Is that a scooter? Wait, which one? Was that a... Oh, this thing. This thing? The bottom right recon. <laughs> there might have been. Can you check out the MI-28? Yeah, that is a really cool helicopter. Gotta reset it this way. There we go. Yeah, the MI-28 is... I call it the Pinocchio helicopter. Because of that schnoz. But you can do so much with this. More rockets. More rockets. The Attacka ATGM giving you... I think that's 16. Yeah, that's definitely 16 here. Or with Iglas. Load them up with Iglas. Oh wait, we have S8 rockets here? I'm confused. Okay, so we automatically have some uh, ATGMs. You can add more to it. Yeah, that's what's going on. Pretty cool helicopter. Pinocchio helicopter, yeah. It really is. Honestly, the MI-8 is going to be a fun one to play with. You can just load them up with anything. Last but not least, K-52. So add more rockets to them. Vickers AT gems. Igla Vs. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Look at that linebacker sitting in the back. Look at those eagles in the back there. Bunch of F-16s over there. Or no, not F-16s. Whatever. Whatever, man. I'm a real helicopter. TU-160. Yeah, this thing is a beast. You can load it up with 9,000 Abram tanks. Pretty cool. Alright, guys. I will be ending it here. There's literally nothing to show, really. Uh, we tried the mission like four times. It failed four times. Uh, because the game just crashes. There will be a... A hotfix. Very shortly. I don't know exactly when. Um, but that's going to be probably 
maybe over the weekend, because on Monday it should be fixed, because that's when all of you get access to it. But that should be alright. Thank you all for tuning in. If you want to, you could become a patron, just like these gentlemen here. Just go ahead and check it out. You don't even need to do it, but just go ahead on uh, head over to Patreon. Link down below. See what you can do for a dollar a month. Greatly supports the channel. You fill up this cup here with caffeine, and that gets you content. All right. Good work today, despite the crashes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Go to bed or coming into Discord? I'll hang out on Discord for a little bit, yeah. Oh yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be back as soon as the game is fixed. As soon as the pre-demo is fixed, so that we can finish that campaign uh, mission. And then we'll get it. Will Russia get fantasy prototypes? There won't be any fantasy prototypes. It's all like, already announced and in-surface vehicles. But like, right at the edge. But yeah, it's all still a work in progress. But guys, I'll be heading out. I'll see you guys soon, so take care, and uh, stick around for definitely some more content very soon. Alright, bye!